Try to make sure it's rented and you're there. Okay. Uh, but the What's up, everybody? We're live now, now everyone. Oh, so you know we're stupid. we're live and you're catching us right in the midst of uh, making sure we're set up correctly for this. Hola, this watch buenos, party. Hola, buenos noches, everyone. Welcome Hola. to the Cold Classic Horror Show Purchase live it. stream tonight. Yes. Four dollars for this. Four twenty nine of your hard earned money down the drain. Rent it now. So those of you that don't know and haven't looked at the title of this live stream, we are watching uh, Halloween ends together. We are. Halloween you can rent it. Ends. You can rent it on Amazon <laughs> Prime if you don't own it, uh, or you can. I think it's streaming for free on Peacock. How do I mute it? You just so joined, right? So just go to the uh and we're getting set up here, guys. So just bear with us. Yeah, so see, you just played, I paused, you played whatever. So I was well, just I'm gonna trying start to figure it. out where my volume is. Oh, just go to the volume speaker on the actual player, and that's how you uh, okay. turn yeah, that up or down. I don't actually want to hear this garbage ass movie. But make sure <laughs> it's coming through your headphones, obviously, so we don't hear it in through your microphone. I think it's through the microphone. I couldn't tell. You or through your head. You were hearing it in your headphones, right? Here, I'll play it. You hear it in your headphones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. So I see the start <laughs> teleparty on my thing. That's that's a good thing. Yeah, right? don't start it. Just join the link. Yeah. That's a good thing you see that. Yes. Yeah. Join the link. How do I join the chat? Uh, I wasn't going to use the chat for, through teleparty. I was just going to use the one through StreamYard that we always use, the comments. Oh, okay, comment. so okay. I don't need it. We don't need to oh, yeah. actually click the teleparty link. Connect you do, your YouTube I account to join okay. the chat. I don't want YouTube knowing my account. Yeah. If you uh, are joining us, let's hear it in the comments. I want to make sure our comments are working here uh, on our Continue. in the stream yard here. Let's see oh, here comments. we are. I see. I see the teleparty. Allow. There, Scotty just joined. Yep. Hello, everyone. Hello. So, make sure this movie, Scotty, has come through your headphones. Yep. I believe it will be. How would Chris, I? Chris Shearer, what's up, brother? Rob. Rob's with us, uh, of course. Is that coming through your headphones, Scotty? Uh, I don't hear anything yet. Or are you playing the movie? Yeah. You don't hear it through your headphones? Um, did you just pause it? No, it's hear... going right now. I do not hear it. No. Do you see it? I see it. Yep. Okay, go to your system settings. It's on your, Miramax right now? Yeah, go to your actual system settings. Okay. And switch it to your your headphones. To, it'll have to be your microphone. Yeah. Okay, let's see. So, Oh, there it is. Duh. System settings, switch it to your microphone. For the output to your microphone. Hey, Robin Party in the house. This Robin his Party. First time watching. Oh, Robin's got his vodka and a gummy because he's not doing it sober. I don't... Uh, I don't think you I have. Sober. I have a uh, Citra India Pale Ale from Eddie Lime Brewery. It's called Colorado State of Mind. You know what? I'm gonna. A, you know I'm what? Ready. I'm actually. I'm actually gonna drink too. Do you know what? Get, Maybe I should do. Citra I Indian too? India Pale Ale. Rob, go, go go get yourself a hazy. I gotta watch this garbage movie. Should I drink, drink too? Maybe I should drink too. <laughs> All right. Try. I I got my input in ATR oh. USB microphone and my output in uh. ATR USB. Microphone. Okay, here I just press play. So, uh, is it coming through your headphones? Let me look. Let me see here. I don't hear it. Nope. I, then it's not. I guess. Good system Can settings. Press... Or just a uh, regular blue. Here, um, preferences. Sound system settings. Sound. Yeah, I just did that. Let's see. Just Make sure your system. output is to your mic. System preferences, sound. Yep. Uh, uh, I am drinking the uh, Green Bench Brewing Co. from St. Peter. Oh, uh, nice. Double hazy IPA. Oh, my brother. Just grabbing a drink. You gotta Robin love that. Started, Robin started the drink party. So is it set to your headphones? Ooh. Okay, I'm, I'm checking the stream yard. Mm, so, well. so fruity, bright. Yeah, stream yard shouldn't matter. Citrusy that should already bouquet. be set to your headphones. Yep, it is. Okay. ATR, default ATR. Yep, yep, there it is. Okay. 
Um, testing, testing. So I go to just the Apple. I click the little top left Apple. Uh, there's some preferences, and it says output ATR. I maybe I need to unplug everything and plug it back in. Output says ATR USB microphone. All and right, guys. All, all the, Next it. time we'll be more professional and actually meet before we go live to figure all this shit out. <laughs> yeah. Where's Carmelo ten, at? Ten minutes before we go live. Here, maybe all. I'll, right. I could. So, just so you guys know, we're gonna start uh, just at the very beginning, right where the Universal logo starts and the awesome, cool radio station music. Starts. Are we only live on YouTube's? We're on YouTube and Facebook. Is anybody monitoring? Oh, I can hear it now. Yeah, I press it's... play. I just press play on my end, and it uh -huh. and I, I can hear it. So mm -hmm. sorry, guys. And now you can adjust the volume just on the player there. Click on the speaker, adjust the volume for the movie, however you want it. Okay. Because I didn't want it as loud as you guys in my ears. Who is this? Sorry. Yeah. So, all right. So, yeah, guys, we're going to be at the very beginning. Listening. The Universal logo when it starts. And that's that's where we'll be starting. So you got it, Scotty? Yep. We're we're good. Rob, you got you grabbed a drink and where the fuck is Carmelo? I don't know. Yeah, Robin says when the reviews came out, he never bothered watching this till now. Well, oh, here we are. Robin, yeah, I'm glad Robin that you the newest. decided to join us and, and knock it out with us. <laughs> yeah, I've only seen it once, uh, and it's not super memorable and, and a weird a weird entry into the series that's for sure rob hates it right rob what i feel like you're glitchy and choppy as all i'm not I like glitchy kills. i, I have like new better. internet i'm plugged in i've got full power <laughs> i'm trying to find the the cult so, so yeah, we should uh, be live on yeah. uh, Facebook. If anyone's joining on, I we should. I should. Yeah, but I can comments. only see comments on people's. On, is Streamyard hooked up to Facebook or is it? Yeah, just it is. YouTube? It says it is. It says that we're we got all comments coming in. So maybe no one's watching on Facebook. Well, hold on. We don't know that yet. So when you adjust your headphones for uh, so you can hear yourself, where do you turn down the the um, movie volume? Where the hell on is... the player itself within Prime. Okay. Man, okay. On the screen I, in Prime, there's a little speaker when you hover on the screen. I see it. I see. And you can it. adjust the movie volume, sick, which I Got wanted it. to do, seeing as how Carmelo is not even. Ah, uh, here's show. Carmelo. There he is. Oh, Hello, now I can sir. call in sick. Yeah. I had to find my shirt. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I had to find the right shirt. Also, Christine loves Halloween ends and wanted to sit in for the beginning. <laughs> nice. Of the I think you might be the only one. <laughs> I got. I, I like it better than Halloween Kills. I oh, also. Yeah. Also I vice versa. Show you that. I. I Are we really not watching like Halloween Kills? Kills. Uh, no, we're at watching Ends. Ends, Rob. I that guess. is the movie in front of you right now. I don't know. I just say, uh, told me. To yeah, let's not start playing it yet. But let. Uh, I think Carmelo, just do a double check on your mic real quick. Just a double checker. I think you're coming out of your mic, but I'm not positive. Yep, that's the mic. Okay. Do you guys see my little Michael Myers behind me? Can anyone see? Yes. Oh, we're not watching the video there yet. There it is. I'm not touching the video. You are. You are the alien. I can see who's playing and pausing the video. <laughs> it's not true. Rob. Rob has his hazy double IPA. I have. It's already Citra gone though. I, I may have to get a second one already. Yeah, I was contemplating, but I figured I don't that Carmelo might not be drinking. Maybe I'll stay on the off the wagon with water. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not drinking tonight. I, I got to get in Comic Con shape to wear my <laughs> Superman tights. Oh, Ooh. nice. Were you were you taking alcohol off for Lent? Uh, no, I, I don't observe Lent. I'm a recovering Catholic. Oh, good. God <laughs> yeah. bless you. God I took bless off you. church for Lent. Is what I gave up. Yeah. Um, Amen. I want to say your kids always get to guest star on the podcast in the background. This was the this was the premiere of my my unborn baby's appearance oh, on the yes. podcast. Oh yes, that's very so, true. Yes. All right. Uh, how are you feeling? How are you feeling, Chris? You doing good? Totally, totally fine. No oh. symptoms whatsoever. Nice. Our nice. hearts and love is sending out to you guys. Uh, we're so excited. 
Uh, Robin Party's got Grape Rockstar Vodka going. I have no comment on that. Grape Great. Rockstar Vodka. <laughs> Is that? Yes. I don't think that's a thing in the in the U.S. Rob, did you confirm <laughs> that there know. are no Facebook comments? I didn't Rock see on, any. Robin. Okay, so Rock I think on. we are getting all comments. Uh, I'm gonna check on Facebook real quick. Just yeah, to make sure. I, I see comments and day. on YouTube. Yeah, there's no comments on Facebook. So I I'm going to go ahead and you. syndicate this post. All right. And are you, did you get to the teleparty link there, Carmelo? You got us there? I did. Yeah, I got you. Sweet. All right. Oh, I see you. You joined the party. You are also an alien like Rob. I see you. All right, guys. I think uh, we are ready to go. So. Once again, we are starting the movie at the very, very beginning, right when the Universal logo comes up. Uh, and I'm going to give you a countdown. Rob, don't Wee. do it. <laughs> Three. It's not me. Two. One. Play. Are we recording? We're recording. Oh, shit, Rob, you're right. I didn't do I didn't that. do it. I didn't touch I didn't, it. I didn't, I didn't oh, touch we got to record. It. We got to record. Okay, hold on. I didn't Wait, do the intro. Do you control the play button for the party, or do I have uh, to press play? Every single person, uh, just let me control the play button. Okay. Because, because, we did. Uh, only, you, just, you just paused it after we started. Only one person needs to press the play button between the four of us here, and it will yeah, work for everybody. Me, right? I just said, ask that for the audience at home. I obviously already knew that. But I did forget this. Uh, welcome, welcome, everybody, to the Cold Classic Horror Show. Danny Bonin here with you guys. Danny and Scotty Bonin here with you guys. <laughs> we are. That was a La La Land. This is why we don't record live. Okay, often. let's try this. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try this again. Welcome, welcome everybody to the Cult Classic Horror Show. Danny Bonin here with you guys. Scotty Bonin here with you guys. We are the uh, Blood uh, Brothers. Uh, and I oh, I don't know. I'm trying to talk to Robin. And Carmelo Chimera. Yeah, baby, we're here. Right. Live. Yes, uh, we are live. Um, unless Saturday you're listening night. to this after the fact. If you did start the movie, yes, Robin, just start over because I forgot to do the show intro. Here we are doing the show intro. So today's episode, we are watching Halloween Ends. Uh, if you're not joining us live, this serves as a commentary where you can just start at the same time we're starting it right now and watch it along with we're us. We're starting it right now. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to give you a countdown. We are at the very beginning where the Universal logo first appears, uh, uh, starts appearing, and and it starts. So we are starting in three, two, one, play. For reals this time. Here we are. <laughs> it's Four like the 15th time Five I've seconds. heard this guitar riff. Six seconds, seven seconds, eight seconds, nine seconds. All right. 94. I'm already bored. <laughs> So, Rob, Rob when, why did you select this movie tonight? I, I, we know that this is one of your personal. I didn't select Can you this tell movie. Us why? Well, someone suggested it, and then I think Rob said I would have fun ripping it apart, and then we just said done deal, and here we are. And it's just it's easy to cover Halloween movies, so uh, we've all seen them. Easy just to talk over them and not pay attention too much to the movie. H has everyone seen this? Yes, I, I do it. like the evolution of the Blumhouse I logo. Unfortunately. Okay. Do you guys remember the old Blumhouse logo that was like just the chair going around and the yeah. girl in the corner of the room? Mm -hmm. I like the evolution of it. I do too. I kind of like the old one though, but uh, now it has uh, it's, it's broad. It has more to it. Malaka Cod probably is this the only thing he's ever made money on? Do we know that, Rob? I know he's. Oh. He's sure. always been in the Halloween franchise. It's the whole franchise. Forever. That's I, yeah. that's what I mean by it. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure he's done other movies. You know, one one character who did not return to the franchise that I think we all miss was uh, the Iron Maiden, who I'm pretty sure we're all <laughs> friends with now on Facebook. Nice lady. Um, she's the one who squares off with uh, Michael Myers, armed with a an iron. And uh, is that this movie? Oh, that was the last movie. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. that's right. You were just saying she didn't return. That was the one. Right. Where, right. That was the one where Pam Greer said, "Just fucking kill me." Just yeah, kill me yeah. Off. Pam Greer not coming, coming back. back. Who who is the Iron Maiden again? Uh, so an angry mob of Michael Myers at the face. end of Halloween Kills. Oh yes, yes, I ass, remember. And she's there 
with like an iron, like you would use to iron your pants, like an iron, not like yeah. a frying pan, like an iron. That's right. And uh, uh, for for like 15 minutes, Rob, I think, made her a, an internet celebrity. No, no, my oh, buddy Patrick yes. made her an internet sensation. It was Rufa that that started a group. I'm, I was just, I was just an admin on the page. Ah. And well, then, she's a really nice lady. Yeah. And, and uh, I don't is. know if she's done any roles. Holy shit. Time, but, yeah. But she's I, the, that's the only I, thing she appears in is just that part. Yeah. yeah. She's literally an extra <laughs> in the background. Yeah. She's just an extra for a yeah. flash of the scene in the background. Uh, and I she's think, an extra, but she's an extra armed with an iron who brought an iron. iron to a fight with Michael Myers. Hey, so. I think man. she probably showed up for, you know, in exchange for craft services that day, although that you can't do that on a union production. But uh I think you're right, Carmelo. I don't think she's done anything else because I think the culmination of that group was her going like, anyone know of anything? Or like, can anyone get me something? <laughs> we'll put her in uh, the next movie we're working on. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we, we got some exciting her. projects coming up here. But I Heck like this yeah. kid here. Uh, I think he did a good job in this movie. He's not, uh, you know, the story might be controversial, but I think this kid's a great actor. Yeah. The one that dies? Oh, hey. I mean, everybody dies in this fucking movie. Yeah. Like, I'm talking about uh, Rohan Campbell here. Is that his name? Rohan? Oh, yeah, it is. Rohan. Rohan. I don't Rohan. Rohan. Yeah. Or Rohan. Chris Chris Sher is wondering if this is better than Exorcist Believer, uh, especially for Rob. That's questions for Rob. Well, questions everything. For Rob. So far, everything is better than Exorcist Believer. There you go, Chris. There's, yes, there, it is there's, better. there's venereal <laughs> diseases that are better than Exorcist Believer. <laughs> <laughs> this oh. is way better. This kid's First dad day. must have been, or parents were just big Lord of the Rings fans, named him Rohan. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. See, in the <laughs> Rob, I, you get let down because in the preview for a split second, you think the guy in the train hat is Charlotte Copley, and it's not because he, he just looks sort of like him. Who is that? That guy yeah. looks familiar. I thought it was. I really thought it was him. No, no. His name, no. Is his name Jack oh. William Marshall? That's him. It's a fun little John Carpenter nod. He always puts other movies in his movies. You know, yeah. You know, yeah. That's great. How old is this kid? Is he old enough to be watching, you know, horror movies? So when, when did... Oh, oh don't there pause it. Pause. It was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> We're still at 433, 34, 35. Oh, love it. Ooh. Let's just watch the thing. That yeah, I love when they put movies I'd rather watch in the movies I don't want to watch. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but we all agreed, like, it's better to watch a movie you don't like, right? When we oh, watch live sure. commentary. For sure. Yeah. I mean, this was Rob's point was like, when we when we do Evil Dead or Exorcist, we just sit here silently for an hour and a half going, that was really cool. Yeah. yeah. Chris Sheary, you're right. We all started horror movies at his age. Um, I was like, I famously told the story where I saw glimpses of the exorcist at way too young of an age at like four and a half years old. Uh, I'm wondering now that I have children that haven't started watching horror movies yet. It's a big thing between my wife and I, like what is the proper age? Like officially about seven. <laughs> it you depends so? on the horror movie. They're not yeah. created equal. Yeah. That's I well, watched the I watched the exorcist at like 10 or 11. <laughs> Exorcist nine ten poultry geist never you know I'm thirty four yeah, well, and haven't finished no it one yet. ever needs yeah. to watch that no one needs to watch that again I don't watch poultry geist he really enjoyed it Shannon, I like poultry geist Shannon is like no horror movies till they're like sixteen <laughs> well, no then they're not gonna you know they have to be able to you know the horror movies at least you know they'll keep them on their toes like she's on board with like PG thirteen like actual following that like they can't watch Jurassic Park till they're like thirteen. I'm like, your, I don't your know. Kids are gonna act in PG 13 movies before they're old enough to see them. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm sort of like the name the demon. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God we didn't, though. We traumatized yeah. the poor girl that we Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Play these stuff nightmares uh, to this day. Yeah, yeah. Though her mother is still friends with me and she's a nice lady and tells me that her daughter is very excited <gasps> for the sequel. So apparently we didn't hey, traumatize huh. her too bad. We're good to go then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they really did a uh, minimal Halloween decorating on this house here. The railings and that's it. I sort of took that to be like the whole town is kind of soured on the holiday after, uh, mm. you know, yeah. Had mm -hmm. Haddonfield has had it. <laughs> had Ooh. it field. That's good. Scott. Had it field. <laughs> Some quality humor right there. But it... Yeah. I, I mean, it all depends on the movie. That's what Robin said too. I, I think it so, depends on the movie when you're a kid. Yeah. Yeah. 
unpopular opinion here. I know this kid, the entire motive of this movie stems from this moment here, but let's be honest. The this little kid, I'm not saying he deserved to die, but I'm saying he deserved to die. He kind of had it coming. Is all I'm. Uh oh, my right camera's on. gone out. Oh no, no we one's looking at your camera, anyways. We can still hear you. <laughs> the, only, the only, the only, thing that Carmelo wishes is that there he is. Was all right, my painful. camera's officially knocked out, and I'm. Uh... All right. What happened? Uh, no, he's hearing screaming. Yeah, I'm gonna pull it. It was all I had for that camera. All right, and I uh, this camera. We can see you on your other camera. Yeah, we, we can, don't necessarily, yeah, yeah, we we don't necessarily need to see you. No, that's all right. I'm not that good looking anyway. The, the no, handsome ones are. are the blood No, we brothers. want the side view. I like the side view. I like this looking view. good. Yeah. Oh, you just yeah, yeah, yeah. You just muted yourself though. Like how he's ar- <laughs> like, how, like how he has a knife, so he's gonna go and somehow you're still kid. muted. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, oh, you're back. Go I think kill, you're back. Kill his. Oh, I muted myself intentionally. Oh, you did. Oh. Okay, I thought you. I thought you didn't. Okay. Yeah, no, that was just so I could curse out the camera here. Okay. Yeah. Good. Oh, good. I, right. I have this like. Sh- it was a good camera. This piece of shit. I paid good money for this thing, but it doesn't work. Oh. The most expensive things sometimes don't work. I traded a quarter and a blowjob for it. I thought for sure it would work. Oh, yeah. what? what the heck? Oh, come yeah, on, man. I put my back into that <clears throat> one, you know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What's happening now? The family's about to come home and watch this punk ass little bitch get dropped on his ass, and he has it coming. All right, he does it. Oh anything. yeah, now I'm remembering this. I don't. I so didn't so the guy with the knife long. is is he watching the kid? What? Yeah. What is, well, he's yeah. trying to. Instead, he's getting jerked he's, around. He's babysitting. Yeah. Right. That's right. Oh shit, mommy's home. Also, how long have they been gone? They hire a babysitter to go out for the length of time of the movie, The Thing. Like, yeah, really. Yeah, I'd probably say what, like two, three hours? No, that's not the length of the movie, The Thing. Hour also, and what's half? their costume? Thing? She's <laughs> like a and flapper half. and he's like a train conductor. With the yeah, they don't match that? at all. They, they, no. You're supposed yeah. to coordinate when you go to they a didn't party. They coordinate. Yeah, they were, they, they were gone for like oh, 30 minutes. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh, that's so good. Oh, oh. That's, that's, I forgot about that part. That was really good. Oh, oh God! I don't think he's getting paid for babysitting. No, it's a good I... thing he had that knife with him. God. Yeah, put down the knife, you guilty looking yeah. motherfucker! Oh my yeah, God. dude, that's a blow, man. Woo! Ooh, you can't deny the soundtrack, though. I must you admit, can't deny the soundtrack. That's no. a pretty good opening. I I, it's a great admit. opening. It's a great. <laughs> that really... That's a really good opening. Yeah. Oh. I like this. I like this whole storyline because. Every time they try to give Michael Myers backstory, like the Curse of Thorn or Rob Zombies, everyone hates it. Now, you know, I kind of like the Rob Zombie background, but people like the mystery, right? So yeah. now's your chance to do like a, maybe this is the kind of thing that happened to Michael, but we can't touch Michael because he's like holy. Like, you know, you start like a riot the way you do if you put a cartoon. Yeah, but I mean, like this backstory has right? so, got nothing to do with Michael. Yeah. Just this, this just, just this cuckold incel. Who just like somehow makes right. out with Michael and takes his powers, like right? They can write whatever backstory they want for this <laughs> incel, right? But they, the second they give Michael Myers a middle name, people riot. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that. I think I don't really care about Michael Myers' backstory. The Thorn didn't bother. The only thing that bothered me about Rob Zombie is Rob he thinks he's so watched Tasso to Dateline. Am I oh, the only one that gets like, like half oh, of that Rob? No, Rob is breaking Psycho, up a little bit. Psychopaths like torture animals. That's never heard of that before. Yeah, okay. I caught that part. Yeah, but <laughs> I, I would know I would on. watch Rob Zombie good. Halloween movies ten times to every time I have to sit through Halloween Six: The Curse of Michael Myers. <laughs> no, Robin said, "Is this like Ghost Ship, where the opening is better than the rest of the movie?" I mean, this uh, opening is not really yeah. that good. Yeah, and it is better you're, than the you're, rest of this movie. You're right, Robin. It is exactly like Ghost Ship. Mm. No, Haddonfield was never a piece of town. Not even goes, close. It goes, no. This movie goes from great opening to good to not so good. It may have been peaceful you know. before this night. Before yeah, this, but it, I mean, Michael Myers killed his sister like eight years before the first one or something, or fifteen, whatever it was. Like, I will, oh, I do, it? I will give this movie some as it definitely goes into the shitty movie realm of just showing tons of b-roll from other from the old movie yeah yeah Yeah. (laughs) which is kind of cool to see that b-roll of the 
classic. Yeah. B-roll better movies. B-roll better movies, yeah, exactly. Mm. I like the opening with the pumpkin going inside the pumpkin and then coming out of another pumpkin. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Not not bad as far as a recap was going. Yeah. The sizzle reel of Michael's greatest hits. Evil dies tonight. Evil dies tonight. Well, Rob, Christine agreed with you. She hated that movie. Yeah, well, I didn't like any of that mob stuff. I mean, it was like... I didn't like it oh, until kills. Danny DeVito. Yeah. It's just bad writing when there's like he's surrounded by 40 people and they just stop beating on him before he's dead. And he yeah. just gets up and start and like kills them all. <laughs> yeah. Like the whole the whole premise of this trilogy is just the stupidest. Laurie's yeah. been waiting for him to escape for 40 years and is like trained to the highest level and does absolutely nothing through any. <laughs> yeah, of and then and then two movies later, when her actual daughter has been murdered. Now she decides she can hang it up and play grandma and and stop yeah. the war on Michael. Like, what? He's why still is she out not there. more no crazy problem. than ever in this? Movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She should be way more psycho. Yeah. Yeah. Why yeah. didn't in the in the Halloween 2018? Why didn't she just walk out the front door when she had the shotgun and blast him? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then her the her did. whole goal was to trap him and burn the house down so nobody could actually see him die. Exactly. She's getting after the decorations. That's good. That's what I mean. Why? Why did she decide to move on now? Yeah, because she hated her daughter. <laughs> I think we like. I think we. Yeah, she hated her daughter. It's okay. We just missed. You know, in between the two films, she had a lot of therapy they didn't mention, and and she's over it. Right. So for forty years, no therapy. No therapy. The four years in between one and three. She, she got on that uh the chat therapy service, whatever that's called. She, oh, better help. Yeah. yeah, better help. She didn't even like meet her therapist in person. That's right. This, was... this episode brought to you by Better Oh, here's a yeah. great present for you, honey. It's your dead mother's wedding rings. <laughs> yeah, because both your parents were murdered on the same night. Yeah. Remember when I stood there and did nothing? Yeah. There you go. That was a pretty shocking <laughs> murder. There was there's some good kills in kills. I especially like the door flying open and hitting the gun and the girl killing herself. Yeah, that, 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 that one was nuts. Cool. That was an oopsie kill, just like the opening of this. Yeah. An oopsie kill. She yeah, types pretty good for a grandma. Kill. Your Honor, my client is innocent of murder because it was an oopsie kill. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he got locked in a closet, kicked the door open, the kid just happened to be standing there. My I client mean, pleads whoopsies, Your Honor. Yeah, whoopsie. <laughs> Whoopsie. Whoopsie. What's that for me? A Mortal Kombat? Mortal Kombat. I don't oh, know if yeah. he says whoopsie, but that's what it sounds like. I'm pretty sure he says whoopsie. Chris Shear says it feels like Sherry Moon should have played Lori's daughter in these. <laughs> oh, yes. that would have been a burn. I mean, in a good way. <laughs> uh, I may actually have rather watch Rob Zombie's Halloween's than this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Robin Party says no. Daniel Harris. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Actually, yeah. This girl, I mean, this girl's pretty good. I don't know who she is, but she's, oh, yeah, it's a. Uh, no, she is good. Andy she's been in some Machiak stuff. It, it is kind of crappy they didn't give a cameo to like Daniel Harris or Scott Taylor Cobb. I know. Like, Why? Why would we give them a cameo? That's because only the, the, the lower level Comic Con scene cares about them. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I mean, I mean, you might hate the Rob Zombie you could one. Get, you could get a hand job from Daniel Harris and Scout Taylor Compton oh, 50 bucks. No, yeah. <laughs> and they'll take I mean, a picture. Well, Rob, I don't want to have a social media war with Daniel Harris. I like Daniel Harris. <laughs> Why? Well, I mean, we'll win. All she, all, all she does on <laughs> social media is cry that nobody's giving her work. <laughs> she, she does those B-whore movies. Or she did those movies. hatchet movies. Those are some yeah. quality B-slashers. Yeah, like it's 20 good. years ago, she was really killing them when it came to d-rated horror movies hey at least we got will patton in this again and is it was it wasn't kyle i do like i do like will patton yeah, i do but i'm sorry will patton was dead dead oh yeah i thought he's he dead. was he was stabbed and his yeah. throat was cut and he was ran over multiple times he was dead he's like but michael I, myers he can never die yeah i accept that he's alive because i like him and want him in this movie That's boo i don't know who boo squeezy is but he says this was the worst movie ever made 
Oh, you missed you, out. Have you seen Exorcist Believer? Yeah, have you seen <laughs> yes. Exorcist Believer? You've got to see that. Worse. This is the second worst movie ever made. The no, better wait, question wait, wait. is why do people keep giving this director money? That's true. That's true. And I actually like this director because Righteous Gemstones is one of the greatest well, television shows ever made. He should just stick to comedy then. He should. And so should Danny McBride. I know yeah. this was funny. Danny I McBride love Righteous great. Gemstones. McBride had a hand in uh, what? The Prometheus. Oh, no, no, Prometheus. No, 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 not Prometheus. The, the next one. Covenant. Did, uh, Covenant. Covenant. The one Covenant. I didn't like as much. Yeah. They're, they're all good. They're fine. They're so they're all. I, I like I, I like, I like Prometheus a lot actually. Prometheus really grew Prometheus on me. Prometheus is awesome. Yeah, Prometheus. I, I like it too. There's doesn't grow on me like Prometheus. Did. Prometheus has some holes, but I love it. It's I love. Yeah, it. Yeah, great. Name. Idris Elba is so good. Have we covered it? I uh, know. Prometheus. I don't think so. I don't I'd know. watch that shit. That's great. Look at this creeper. Well, this yeah, doesn't this. he look like he's like twenty years older than this girl? Yeah, Jesus. definitely. Mm -hmm. Just hitting at her. Looked like your muffs about to fall off. <laughs> It's a sweet Ford Escort station wagon you got there. I was checking out your tailpipe, and I couldn't help but notice. <laughs> your muff. What are... <laughs> it's a good thing during this manhunt they, they should have had for the last year and a half or last solid attack. They never checked, I don't know, under fucking bridge. Under a bridge. <laughs> I don't and know if anyone lives. cares, but in the novelization... Does anybody notice... Creepy little cave in the bridge the serial killer would probably live in. Should probably go no check one. that out. <laughs> yeah. In, in the novelization of the movie, they explain that this homeless guy basically like feeds Michael victims from time to time and implies oh. eating them. Because he like lives with them under the under the Did under you the did you read the novelization of this movie? No, I just read some fun facts before oh, okay. commentary yes. tonight. I got I, I got, got, I got, I got a good idea. I was of just like, oh, this is the part where the band kids pull up. Yeah. This yeah, is the part sure where a grown ass 20 something year old man gets bullied by a yeah. bunch of 16 year old twinks. <laughs> the, the band thing? kids. These aren't even the football players. They're no, band they're band. No, they're band kids. Yeah. His uh, letter jacket says 2023, so it's currently current time here. Oh, uh, they couldn't even get Yoohoo in the movie. You can tell that's some like generic chocolate drink. Yeah. Yeah. Yoohoo is sure. uh, like, sure is no, we can't do it. What's that, Carmelo? I'm sorry, Rob keeps cutting in and out. And I try. I think I'm talking over. Yeah, now. Rob, buy new internet. My internet's <laughs> fantastic. Chris Shearer says that William Peter Blady was also a comedy writer before The Exorcist. Is that true, Chris? Really? He says I think. So I don't know. Someone, well, someone fact checked that. Yeah. I watched the movie. I can't. <laughs> I think I should. I think I should do the. Uh, Cut my hair like that kid right there. Oh, oh yeah, what? he's got the, the bullet, bullet, and then he dyed his uh, eyebrows blonde, yeah. bleached them. Each of these kids looks like they deserve to be bullied or dropped over a railing. Either way, yeah, yeah. Don't piss this kid off, man. Do not piss him off. <clears throat> <laughs> Why are the band kids bullying him? Why is he able to be bullied by band kids? I know. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, here comes Lori. She's got that Ford Ranger is reliable. It is a very reliable car. Yeah. They're going to pick on her, too. Yeah, that kid's got it. And why doesn't face. Lori just like throat punch one of them? Oh, ow. <laughs> yeah, God. They, they press hurts. charges, Rob. Yeah, but after they cut that kid's hand open, like you know. that's true. That's a that's a uh, self defense extends to defense of others, so she actually would have a legal claim to. Oh, okay. uh, not that though. The knife thing is not good. <laughs> not good. Really? Not yeah. good on the knife thing. Oh. White walls out. That's a sweet ass Chrysler LeBaron too. Look at that, I man. This feels, even though it says 2023, it feels like this is old in Haddonfield still, just because, I don't know, just has an old feel. Does this take place in 2023? I love how she's, well, she's looking at him like... 2023 on it. Oh, okay, that's right. Yeah. Okay. What's she's that looking about? at him like, oh, I bet he just got bullied by a bunch of 13-year-olds. Instantly I'd like, aroused. I'd like to take that for a ride. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he doesn't even, like, smile. He, like, looks at her all creepy, and she's like, 
Oh yeah. Yeah. All the all the female nurses just he had to cause a scene because he popped the woody and had to oh, kick the table doctor. over. Isn't like isn't every girl you used to go to high school with like a nurse now? Isn't that everybody? Oh yeah, all of them. Yeah. yeah. Isn't everyone when you ask any high school age girl now what they're doing? Aren't they all like in training to be a nurse? I mean, yeah. <laughs> my my old college basically shut down every program other than nursing. Really? <laughs> yeah, because the administration is lazy and stupid. And I used to do like scholarship interviews and I would ask the kids, what do you want to be? And they're all like nurse, nurse, nurse. And I would ask them why. And they would all say the same thing. I want to help people. And then I'd say, uh, well, there's lots of ways you can help people. Why do you want to do it by nursing? And there was crickets. They but said, anyone who I, had a got a scholarship. They said, I uh, want to clean people's asses out that can't help themselves. Yes. That's what I'm saying, right? It's and, like, and if you thought I about it, have... you to be a nurse. I want to have easy access to narcotics. Yes. Yeah. I can run my fentanyl business on the side. I don't, I'm not saying it's more like a nursing home. Danny. I'm not necessarily saying it's a bad thing, but I swear to God, every post by someone on Facebook is like, I'm in, I'm training to be an RN. Oh my God. Well, we have enough nurses. Every other post. The other ones are the people who are RNs complaining now about how shitty RNs are treated, ah. which they ha are. They get, they have the bottom of the, the totem pole and all the shit rolls downhill because yeah, they have to work the way up. Way up. It, it's terrible. I don't know anyone who's like my dream came true. I became a nurse. I know everyone who's like, I'm a nurse and this sucks. I don't know anything about the program, but is it, maybe it's just like a, a quick thing you can do that pays decent. Maybe that's why everyone does it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, maybe, it, I think there's, is it, it's a high demand. They, they need a lot of nurses around. Maybe it depends maybe. where you work. Our, our medical correspondent, Jason is a nurse and he likes his job. So maybe yeah. it depends like where yeah. you're employed to. I don't know. I mean, Robin I agree Party. with Car I, I I agree with Carmelo. I dislike nurses as much as I do teach. Feel that they're <laughs> as much as you do useless what? and they are they are a burden to society. <laughs> as much as you dislike what teenagers? Teachers. Oh, teachers! Oh, teachers. Always <laughs> all crying and complaining. Oh, always oh whining. Goodness. Rob, now's a good time to announce your presidential run for 2024. I know we've been trying to keep it under wraps, but go for yeah. it. Like I can. I can walk up a flight of stairs, which Biden can't. Hey, there you go. <laughs> and, uh, That's you've never good. been you've never been prosecuted for a crime, to my knowledge, which Trump has. No, nope, yeah. So you been. might be good to go. I mean, speaking about well, Trump, how can we we can start talking about January sixth and how that never happened? It yeah. was all AI. Yeah, and we, CGI. we could talk about that if you weren't breaking coming in and out every. That's because your internet. You're hosting this. It's not my internet. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, I'm going to be Rob. Three of us are coming manager. through good, and and you're not. <laughs> I don't know what's up with it. Oh, it's it's fine. It, it's who, only a little, a little bit. Who carves? Is are, are we on Halloween right now? Is this Halloween day? Like I don't think I'm so. Sure. I think it's a couple nights before. Okay, I was going to say, who carves pumpkins on actual Halloween? Like you, you just you know. You I've done it. it once in a while. I've done really? it. Really? Okay. It it's like it the feel last like minute. It's Halloween. Yeah. I did it like the night before usually. So, so the I, I like pumpkins don't already. get all ruddy, or no, a couple nights before. Do them, uh, maybe like I do them up to like a week ahead of time. I guess sometimes the squirrels get them. Then, yeah. Robin, Robin said, "So this is like the other movie where Michael was also kept by a homeless person. Which one was that? That was like the five. That five? was yeah, yeah, five. Man, if I ever learn anything, from oh, this broke ass. Are we? Are we talking about? Are we talking Robin, about that guy. We talking about that guy that had his way with Miles for like a full year. Well, he lives he like, in like that shack by like the river. Yeah, this, this yep. is just like that, Robin. But uh, but this other homeless guy lives under a bridge, so it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah, but he doesn't so really disgusting. have his way with him. And that, really, that was like that was like after Thorn or dirt, something, right? And I don't it was know. leading into Thorn. Yeah, they, into were, Thorn. they were eating spaghetti and drinking milk. And he got, he, got he was hurt really bad. That's a that's a popular combo, Rob. Oh, Dude, movies no. tell you it was popular. He was shot like six times and ran over by a truck, and and that homeless person helped him in the shack. I shot him six times. <laughs> Pouch boy. Oh, I missed Donald. <laughs> oh, good <Pleasance>. times. <laughs> missed Donald Pleasance. Oh, look at this rebel without a without a cause here, or a helmet. That's not safe. Yeah. Good Blue as new. Easy began watching horror Good movies new, at baby. Age, age eight and turned out fine. Heck yeah, me to too, man. That comment, me too. That comment there. See, it all depends if your parents leave you alone with the remote controller, then you can just turn on whatever you want at age eight. Or if they just make sure that you don't have the controller, then you can't watch it. 
Look at him just hit on her. He's got mad, mad Riz, man. Damn. Her up. Yeah, hitting on her, and he knows good and well he can't get an erection unless he watches somebody else making out with her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's I where like Rob... that he's not just an incel. He's an incel cuck. <laughs> of course he's an incel cuck. That's the worst kind. <laughs> That's where you'd leave the room, Rob. If if you saw someone else making out with her while he gets it hard, you'd be too He's like, hold on. Let me, go, let me go grab my fedora real quick. And... <laughs> oh, my God. He should have had a fedora. So I good. bet you. Now, this guy follows Daniel Harris on Instagram. Oh. There's no doubt. <laughs> this butcher? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Are, you are you talking about the main guy? Rob, you're killing it, Rohan. Right now. I'm about talking Rohan? About the main There's guy. Will Pat too. Oh, you're talking about Rohan. All right, all right. Yeah. He's the one that's making comments. I'd never treat right. you like that. You're so beautiful. I think he's I too young to every be following. Halloween movie. I think he's too young to be following Daniel Harris on Instagram. Robin, I know what you mean. Robin says he get, used to get freaked out just seeing random scenes from horror movies like The Blob and like. Oh yeah, The Blob. That's like where it started for me was not seeing the movies. It was like seeing clips or a trailer or seeing it at a video store. And I would get like curious, you know, that's how the horror fan starts. Mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. What is that cover? What <clears throat> is that? And then you just start watching them. Yep. That's right. Do you see Facebook comments, Danny? I don't see any comments from yeah, Facebook. I'm not no. Facebook. I don't, I don't think anyone's you. joined us via Facebook. I'm not oh, sure. I, I knew that we were watching this, this trash. Yeah, well, that was the funny thing. We chose it because it was trash, and everyone commenting about the event was like, I'm not watching that. That's trash. We're like, well, yeah, that's why we're watching That's why we're doing yeah, That's why we can thing. talk and watch it. Exactly. I don't see any comments. You guys don't want to hear us rip on it. Yeah, I don't think anyone's joined on Facebook. I hope it's working. Yeah. You've met uh, – Robman Party has met Daniel. It's on nice. Okay. Nice. Well, so was it 50 bucks, 60 bucks? And how was it? <laughs> $33. As the internet's a small place. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I would love to piss Danielle Harris off enough for her to tag us in one of her. Yeah, you can enter your one collection of her rage guy from Amityville and that kid with Down syndrome. Yeah. You know. I, my life has been threatened by what's his name? From Amityville Horror. I'm not scared of Daniel Dan Harris. Neil DeFeo? Daniel DeFeo? No, it wasn't DeFeo. It was one of the... the. Oh, my God. I wish the fucking... Um, the, the conjuring... Lutz. It was Daniel. It was the Lutz kid. Lutz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daniel Lutz. He called all of us inwards. I oh. wish the Warrens were still alive. A lot of credit. Really, Rob. The oh, yeah, the Warrens. Oh, I'm... I was ripping on the Lauren Warrens long before they died. Warren, he would give you a good finger wagon. Yeah. It's not her fault that Michael Myers killed your sister. And yeah, your I don't get this line of reasoning at all. This whole like, it's your monster. Like, fuck you. I'm his fucking victim. Go to hell. Yeah. It's not like her I, fault. I honestly think that the directors and writers of this after that Halloween kills were like, look, we're done. This is so bad. Pam Greer's quit. We're out of this. We can go back to making decent shit. And they're like, hey, we greenlit the third one. Like, oh, fuck. Will, Will <laughs> Patton just screwed now. Okay, let's make, let's make Will Patton look 30 years older than he is. And then let's have like a bunch of uh, altercations in the IGA parking lot. <laughs> he, must just, he must just have a real affinity for worn leather. I used to have oh, yeah. such respect for Mr. Blue himself, but he had to have been getting dailies from this. And maybe he, he obviously has got bad taste for him to be like, Oh yeah, it's great. That's great. We're really going to show the emotion of the town and it's all Laurie's fault. Like what the fuck? How did any of this become Laurie's fault? <clears throat> yeah. No, I, I get the I, mob I mentality agree. stuff in the second one and, and like it or not. I, I thought it was interesting to see like the town's reaction, but this yeah, but people don't react balls. that way. People people just don't react that way in real life unless they're storming the Capitol wearing buffalo antlers. Yeah, but the like, difference is the like, these movies and, and came out, storming did the Capitol didn't happen. Yeah, it did. You just said January 6th didn't happen. Well, I'm just saying they think it happened. Well, I'm your campaign <laughs> manager. I'm happy to flip-flop with you. Is this our new position is that it did happen? Well, I'm I like it. Sure. I don't know if we should go up against Trump. Should we align with him? 
No, I don't think that's a good him. idea. <laughs> I do live in Florida, so it would be Rob, tough. Robin Party says what sucks about 2018 and kills is someone saw that and thought they could do the same with Netflix Texas Chainsaw movie. I sort of like the I Netflix, think Netflix Texas Chainsaw, Chainsaw is a little bit better than Kills. Yeah. I, I have seen seen that just, one just because like in in the Netflix Chainsaw, all of the all of those letters get eviscerated in a really fun way. Uh, right? yeah. Like in Kills, like Danny said, they have him beat and they're all like, let's see what he does. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, let's just stop beating him. And they could have rode around that too. They could have like had the police show up and interrupt the mob, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and then that that would have been great. It's like, no, fuck, we had him, and then he. But I mean, you they they did the mob thing as like a social commentary about you know the mob mentality, but yet are we aren't we supposed to side with the mob? Because like we do want Michael dead, right? Like we do want this guy to quit well, I, murdering I, I the town. Now we don't mob. want to like, yeah, kill Danny DeVito. Yeah. We want Danny DeVito to live. But I we... was cheering for the mob. Too. All right, now that we've been talking, I'm lost. So the daughter is out now with oh him. Okay, with him. She's yeah. out with him. The daughter right. is out doing. The daughter's typical... out with Corey. The daughter's Alice out doing Corey. typical nurse stuff. Typical yeah. nurse stuff. Getting hammered ass drunk, blackout drunk, with some random loser. And then she's going to show up the next day and, you know, give you a tetanus shot. Rob, can you show us on the doll where the nurse hurt you, please? <laughs> this is getting well, personal. I mean, no, it's just you talk about everybody knows nurses. Like there's like six or seven in my family, in Savannah's family. Really? And, and I'd say about like 70% of them were like the vaccine. <laughs> like, what, Rob, you're breaking up too much. Medical profession. What? <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on. I'm plugged in. <laughs> you said sixty something or that ain't just oh, put out. Now it's all going crazy. Is it? Is it the is cord? It, oh, he left his mask there. Chris oh, it's Shearer, the cord. Chris Shearer commented his the favorite cover at the video store for him was the final chapter Friday the Thirteenth Part Four. Uh, oh, that yeah. is a great. And that's it one is of my a good favorite. cover. That's a really good one. Good cover. You you know what stuck out in my mind Ooh, is the it, mom. It's not even a great cover, but as a little kid, it scared me. Was I think it was Child's Play two or three, and Chucky has a giant pair of scissors and he's cutting a jack o' lantern, not a jack, a jack in the box. He's cutting uh, yeah, his yeah. neck. Oh and yeah! It's like a little right. kid seeing a toy hurting another toy really bothered me. Yeah, like, I know. What, do you guys like, think what are you about... doing to that jack in the box? Yeah. What do you think about this? Like, should the mom like should he never be allowed to have a good time ever again because her son died? Yes. No, but that kid sucks. So he should. Yeah, but yeah. see, he didn't actually kill that child. It was an oopsie. It was an oopsie doopsies. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, come on. Oops. You are we really going to give him credit for an oopsie? Well, yeah. she. I understand why she's upset, but also she might be being irrational, hoping that he's never happy again. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. He's out. But she's got nothing to worry night. about because he will never be happy. So Unless okay. he gets to watch his girlfriend get fucked by some other guy, then he's gonna be very. Oh my god! Could you imagine if all the band kids ran a train on her while he's in the? Dude, he would be thing. crushed. <laughs> oh man, that's not a good sweater. It's not really a good look. I for... forgot how these two met again. They met at the junkyard. Is that right? No, they met at the hospital with the hand. Oh he yeah, had the masturbation injury in his hand, and she. Yeah, that's right. right. Oh yeah, I knew that. I knew that. Remember, he was in the hospital on the verge of tears. Like yeah, he was ninety percent of this he movie. Kicked, kick. He kicked over the stand, and yep, I remember now. Robin Party liked the Evil Dead Two cover. That's a great. That's another great that's one. Classic. Classic. Oh yeah, with the skull with the eyeballs. Yeah, that's that's, what, that's and, hanging on your wall. You know, before I got into horror, obviously, I've been the comic guy a lot longer than I was a horror guy. And Army of Darkness used to be advertised quite heavily in, in comics in the 90s. Mm -hmm. I think they sure, certainly knew their audience. And so I, I had long before I was old enough to understand Army of Darkness. I have Spider-Man comics that have that ad in it. So that was always uh, fun. That poster is great. So you're like, yeah. what is this? Yeah, I mean, he's got a chainsaw for a hand, and there's like zombies, and it kind of looks like the Star Wars cover. I'm like, this yeah. is fucking awesome. And then I would wear that hot girl Rob. hanging off of him. I would wear it. Oh, Rob's gone. I'm not gone. Oh, <laughs> you can still hear me. You have your headphones on still? Yeah, of course. All Rob's right. floating disembodied voice. You would I'm only wear it if it was the thin layer sweater. I would wear. Yeah, that Rob, that looks like it could come from the Huckberry. Do you really do? 
I may change it's my not mind. A bad sweater. Is that missing girl on the billboard a victim from an earlier movie? Because if so, why is like she's not missing? Michael fucking killed her, right? So why I don't think so. I don't think Michael's killing anybody in this movie. Well, before you were saying though, right? I'm just wondering why is that missing person's billboard up there? It's not significant to the story, right? So like, well, they probably saw it in like the Lost Boys, and that was a good movie, and they're like, oh shit, do that. Looks like they patched their tires up. Yeah, Robin, the Fright Night ads in comics, too. I remember that. That's a great poster. I mean, he's getting his ass beat by a non-binary band student with a mullet. Why are the yeah. band students True. whooping up? No, Chris, Michael has not been in the movie yet. <laughs> yeah, Michael has nope. not appeared at all. That's, a, do, that's do, what this, this movie, you don't, you don't see him that much in this movie. Oh, this wow, that was easy. It's like that was an easy even... knife hit. <laughs> Dude, he like outweighs each. At least 20 pounds. I know. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. man. I don't know why these guys are bullying him. If everyone in the town thinks he's a killer, like, why would yeah. you? All this kid has to be like is, I killed one kid. I'll fucking kill you, too. Like, Yeah, no, Chris. Michael's not showing up in this movie yet. I feel like this type of bullying. Uh, this is the kind of bullying we need to bring back. Well, no, this I, is what I we need like, happening on the streets like of America. This gets depicted in movies all the time, like bullying like this, where literally like one party is completely innocent and the other party is literally just bullying the shit out of someone. Right. And, and I, I realize that probably does exist here and there, but I just don't think it's as rampant as movies make it seem. <laughs> no, yeah, it's, it's actually no, certainly it's, not it's to actually, this level. Not. Yeah. I mean, I was a fat kid my whole life and <laughs> I was never even bullied. Yeah, like, like I just don't, I just wasn't. Like you I, watch I these... was bullied a great deal, um, but you know there was a fair bit of swinging back after a certain point. So yeah, I mean, yeah. It could hardly be said to have been innocent. And was there? And was it always like, like? Because I've had a couple of experiences back in the day, but it was it was probably oh, because you, someone you were said never bullying bullying Danny, and as, I got like as, as beautiful and handsome as you, know I mean? as you like, are. I mean, I think it's a lot of like kids want to feel like they're on the in crowd and the easiest way to be on the inside is for someone else to be on the outside. Yeah. You Rob, know, I didn't, I, didn't Rob, I, I went to Tampa and I went to school in, in like Redneckville and Tallahassee and there were clicks and stuff, but there, I'm sure people were bullied, but as the short fat kid, like I was maybe picked on occasionally, but no, I was never, like thrown off of a bridge. Yeah, me neither. I didn't like throw because your glasses, you were the bully. You were, no. you were the one throwing the kid off the bridge. I could no. have been a bully. I mean, that was the lesson I learned from bullying: is if you're the biggest bully in the room, no one can bully you. Yeah, but all, but also Wait, it's kind of it's, it's kind of like the kids that I do remember, kind of maybe being bullied or picked on, were honestly dicks in their own right. Yeah, yeah. kind yeah. of situation. Kind of like that's this like guy. What, that's what and, for me. I, like yeah, Rob. I, I was never really bullied in the traditional sense, but I was a couple times where like they want to show people they're cool by like picking up yeah. a, a bigger guy or something. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and like for no yeah, reason. Yeah, but I mean, like, it's never like in the movies. And the yeah. thing is, I think have to myself that are in middle school and high school, they present like what Danny was saying of these newer, especially they make it look like. Bullying is just rampant. And it <laughs> really, I think it's probably less than it ever was. Possibly. And we need to start bringing it back more. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think so. No, <laughs> I'm throwing them off wondering. a bridge. But you know, like, you know, if you got a kid sitting next to you that, you know, is, is picking his scabs and he, like, you know, listen here, you, there you dirty he is. Fucker. We finally see, that. did we see Michael finally? The official yeah. trivia says there 38 minutes into the movie, but I'm counting 41 minutes before we 40 see minutes. Has it been that long? Oh, yeah, it has. We finally minutes. see him 40 oh. minutes in, and that's that's what uh, Chris Scherer said. I think he shows up here 40 minutes. You were right, Chris. Yeah, Chris, you're right. Robin and said that, he... And so, like, is this some kind of, like, transference of power or something? Is that like what happened? Michael saw the evil in the eyes that he has and, like... Do you think they the both movie? got erect at the same time and they kind of like docked? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, with yeah. Each yeah other? That happened. One of sure. them has to be uncircumcised. And he's like, what the hell just happened? Oh, my though. God. What was that? Right, Rob? One has to be uncircumcised to dock properly. I think so. And that's why I'm not circumcised. Oh, so, you case anybody was No, of course not. I got then, the, then we are destined to be together. There we go. <laughs> it's 
perfect. Robin said he thinks he would be in the wrong uh, movie theater if he saw this and Michael didn't show up till 40 minutes in. Yeah, seriously. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I feel sorry for anybody that paid money to see this. I paid money to watch Exorcist Believer in theaters. There now and then. Yeah, Carmelo still owes me twenty dollars. And I watched that. I watched that with you in theaters, didn't I? Oh yeah, yeah. Right. I, we went I, to, I fell asleep. Kathleen. I guess I'm gonna, yeah, to, yeah, I guess <laughs> I'm gonna have to drive to Chicago just to get my dollars. <laughs> yeah, that was that was really bad. Oh, he stabs the oh, guy. Oh, come on! You're you're stabbing his. Michael's assistant. I mean, what else can you do when you have homeless man breath right in your face? Yeah. He's like, get, well, get out of my up? face. How did you find the knife? Homeless man breath, pee. Did I miss him PCs. finding the knife? Uh, maybe. He must have. The, the guy with the knocked it out on top of the bridge. Yeah. Was that this bridge? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because he wrote, that's right. He woke yeah, because he got thrown off the bridge and walked yeah, away from up. that shit. Like, see, see now Michael has to recruit him because he killed his old man assistant. It's like, well, now I got to pick up the kid as to, to do all my dirty work for me. Have you been docking with that homeless man? Yeah. <laughs> Stop it, Corey! Um, that, that's Stop your older, that's the your older brother's Huckberry sweater. You've got blood on. We're yeah. hardly murdering that kid, but no docking. Are you gonna, Are you going to get that blood out? Yeah. No docking. Make the sure to grab him. Make sure to wash the like, folds really well. The homeless man grabbed him and was like, "That's my docking station. Get away!" <sighs> Gross. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's staring at the mirror, and I'm just like, wish there was like Lincoln Park playing in the background. Yeah, he just has that look like his parents took his his uh, Nintendo 360 away. Nintendo 60. He's just. <laughs> <laughs> this, that's what this this movie yeah exactly fucking took my golden eye away fucking took it away it's fucking i wanted to play tennis fucking bitch. what did you say <laughs> nothing nothing mom yeah what'd you say <laughs> robin party went to catwoman in theaters Ooh. oh god robin i'm sorry oh well it's got isn't that the one with halle berry i think catwoman is that the one with michelle there is Piper? a catwoman with halle, halle berry, berry yeah Okay, well, Halle Berry trumps a lot of things, so <laughs> I can't, I've never seen it, but I'd rather watch that than this right now. You know, Chris Chris points out that Jason does a transference thing in Final Friday, and I'd like to point out that this movie and Final Friday have something in common, which is that they both suck. Yes. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. No, I, I like this movie ten times better than Final Friday. That movie. I hated. Blows. Jason goes to hell, or whatever yes. it was called. That's what it's called. Jason it doesn't. It doesn't even That's count. Final no, it doesn't count. It's terrible. And I stand by that because when I first got on the show, Danny invited me to Danny invited me onto the show. We were doing Friday the 13th, and I said, Don't watch. Don't watch it. Well, we can't just not watch one. What is that? You can't is, just not watch it because it doesn't count. Is, the hell, is, it goes the Jason movie. Seventh? Is the seventh? It has the Book of the Dead in it, doesn't it? Seventh or eighth. I think so. And it's supposed to have the, the dagger, the Kandarian. It is the, oh, that's and good. it's got the Freddy Claw, which is cool, but that's about it. Okay. So that's the final Friday before like H2O and all that. I think well, H2O is Halloween. Oh, yeah, duh. Which H2O is better than uh, this. Oh, yeah, duh. I will stand <laughs> by that. I would rather watch H2O than this any day. You think so? I, you'd yeah. rather watch long sleeves under short sleeves under long sleeves? Actually, I've watched, sleeves? I've watched H2O like the last three Halloweens in a row. Like H2O is great. I really like H2O. Now. I like H2O. I think LL Cool J you got is great. Rhymes, LL Cool J. That's so good. No, that's uh, resurrection, isn't it? Oh, that's resurrection. That's right. No, resurrection, yeah, resurrection has resurrection has Tay Diggs. That's <laughs> right. Resurrection so, oh, he is, plays three roles. is bus rhymes and LL. Right, what's yeah. happening now? I don't know. He's all like, just touch it, just a tip. One He's time. like, I'm sorry, I disappeared last night. Come up, would you please fuck somebody else in front of me, please? He's like, your 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 leathery grandma <laughs> got me. Your leathery grandma has now got me involved in your family dynamic. <laughs> Yeah, but now then, Lori, who previously hooked him up with her daughter, her granddaughter, is now like, wait a minute, my Michael Myers sense is tingling. Yeah. Are there really like tiny redneck towns like this in Illinois? I figure Probably. Illinois yeah. being north of the Mason Dixon line. No, no, it no. Wouldn't uh, be quite like this. And I know that you and Indiana. then there's southern Illinois. <laughs> okay. Is that because it's closer to Indiana? I heard yes. Indiana is like really yeah. we play, people seem we to have play, a lot of problems with Indiana. We played at a campground in Southern Illinois once. 
I've become I've become rather Dave fond Rock. of Northwest Indiana. It's got a nice Chicago influence. I think that's keeping it part of the rest of this, you know, the civilized society. But doesn't this girl give you a Katie Holmes vibe? She does. Actually. Yeah, yeah. She looks like she's sleep with Tom Cruise for money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If she, whatever the Scientologist leaders say, she's got. Should we all just join Scientology at this point? No, no. I mean, why not? I mean, I, I literally, I'm only like 45 minutes away from their mega church in St. Petersburg. Well, you better be ready to shell out money for all those sessions, whatever they call them. Oh, what do they call them? Yeah, sessions. Have y'all watched that Scientology thing on HBO? Yeah, Rob has to shell out money for each session because he's got to go back to all his past lives and cleanse them all. Every one. There's, of them. there's a lot of them. The blood stain sure. is still there. The house. So did you they just they would dip? Sell, just, how rich are these people that they couldn't sell this house? Yeah, like they just they just wanted to. They just left after their son died. I mean, this is a nice house. Is it house like sell it? This was 2023. Yeah, right. Oh, the real estate market was booming, and and like it wasn't like there was a killer running rampant in the house. It was an accidental death. Like they could have cleaned the blood spill up and sell the house for like half a mil. Could have at least sold it at a discount. I would have bought it. Yeah, this lady yeah. woke up this morning and was like, thought she's so cute because she matched her purple outfits and everything. <laughs> she's like, oh, was it Big John and Little John's house? What was Robin what? party keeps coming for me and our Chicago deep dish pizza. And Robin, I don't know how many times we have to have this conversation, but this was Big John and Little John's house. Oh, deep dish I, pizza. You're just going to have to admit, Carmelo, that Chicago <laughs> doesn't have good pizza. I, I like okay. I mean, you would I know see, from your many visits to Chicago. Right? I have I've actually eaten Chicago, the best pizza I've, I've ever had. Chicago, Chicago. Yeah, deep dish you, pizza. Connie's pizza is too much. I've Connie's had the best, is the best pizza I've ever had in my life. I actually in, really in do Chicago. like Chicago deep dish pizza. I actually Dude. really do. Thank you. Eat it with, you got to eat it with a fork and knife. Connie's Here's what I'm going to do, Robin. A, a I'm going to mail you a pizza, Robin. That's what I'm going to do. You couldn't afford the freight to mail one of those pizzas to Canada. Dude, the. This this pizza was like this thick, man. Oh my god, it's so Rob, good. Rob, I would say that Connie's. Joey D's was on Joey point D's too, Chicago's deep dish pizza. Joey D's very, was on I point. enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. What's Joey the, D's kind of reminds uh, me of Giordano's. Yeah, I've covered this the Chicago thing. What's what's that stuff called, Carmelo? The peppers. Oh, the jardiniera. Like, oh, dude, I just had oh, some tonight. Oh my god, I had bratwurst just, tonight. I, and I put it on there. a spoonful. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Dude, you just those rub hot that peppers stuff all over your sausage and. Oh, Dude, well, I, I messed up and I bought a bottle of mustard. I bought a bottle that was had cauliflower in it. With so all right, cauliflower absorbs all the heat really well. I know, but I like, I like the peppers and carrots. Yeah, the peppers. Oh, I like the little olives in there. Is oh, he apologizing dude. for his behavior now? Is that what's happening? I don't know. We were talking about what's it here? called again? Giridalia. Oh, and this is her ex. This is her ex boyfriend who's like forty. Yep, apparently. Okay. I don't are they ex is that the ex or is he just the hitting on her? Or he just wanted to, yeah, he was just hitting on her. They they have never dated, right? Aurelio's yeah. pizza from Chicago is I awesome. So. Yes, Aurelio's is excellent. Yes, excellent choice. It's it's not my favorite because it's a little salty, but I love Aurelio's and go often. A little Why salty. does this guy think that he is in her league? Now there used to be a place called Rummies in Tallahassee. He's just uh <laughs> If I've learned Ew. anything about guys, a Chicago deep dish. Rob, we're done would, talking about. Pizza. No, we're not because because I, I asked Carmelo. It's important. Yes. So they do a Chicago deep dish. They put the sauce on top, but then <clears throat> they would put a crust over that. That's what I. That's what I introduced Scotty and Danny to at Connie's. It's the yeah, stuff, dude. That's it. Stuff. That's uh, that's the one. The top is all bubble. Oh, he cut out. You cut right. out. I've lost Rob completely. I just want to say real quick about guys who are hitting on girls that are out of their league. I I, I want to say to all the men out there, every girl's in your league because every gorgeous woman I know has dated trolls, absolute trolls. And all they did was show up to the fight. That's all they did to win that fight. So you too could win that fight. Just don't be creepy like this guy. Right. Just act like you've been there before. Don't be a fucking weirdo and it'll be fine. All about confidence. It's all about confidence. (laughs) All See, confidence. Cor- Corey's got confidence now. He just yeah. killed a homeless man. He's got BDE now. <laughs> Ooh, someone commented, Aurelio's pizza is awesome. The yeah, Aurelio's is great. Why haven't you taken us there, then, Carmelo? 
You know what I'm going to do next time you come? We're going to do a pizza tasting. Oh, we're you you said that. To. You mentioned that. We got to do yeah, it. Uh, that's Rob, a, that's Rob what we're going to do next time. I like the G, the Giadanos and we and Connie's and what's the third one we had at name name the demon. There was a third one. There was a third one. Oh, yeah, uh, uh, my name Los Angeles. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the it. Song oh, sort of Palermo's. Hopping. It was Palermo's. Palermo's. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah. The song oh. was sort of hopping. I don't mind the all song. the Blumhouse movies use the band Ghost for their songs, and that band fucking rocks. Is this a Ghost song? I don't know if this is. I'm just saying generally I, the music in this movie. I'm not usually a fan of Ghost, but I haven't heard a lot of them, so I haven't uh, heard too much either. All their oh, this is Boy Harsher actually, and I like this song too. I like it. So we don't know the date, right? Currently, right now, is it? Is it? It must be after Halloween. Yeah, I think they'll do the thing where they say like. Hollow, like October 31st before it's yeah coming. okay Rob's got to get back on before his uh his girl's on here uh the, the girl from uh Joe Bob has a cameo in here <clears throat> he just dropped up yeah his, he his must internet. be having internet Sucked. issues yeah my my buddy Matt points out he loves Connie's um Eduardo's I've never had Eduardo's I'll give that a try yeah Robin said, can this Michael uh, meet Happy Death Day babyface if they're both Blumhouse? Maybe the universes can cross. Yeah, the Blumhouse Cinematic yeah. Universe. They said they were going to do uh, Sinister with um, maybe Insidious, I think it was. They were going to uh, do a crossover. That would be interesting. Uh, yeah, because Sinister would be do great. Cool. But Sinister is much creepier than Insidious, I think. The first Sinister, yeah. I like sure. Insidious a lot, but I think Sinister, the first one, is one of the scariest movies I've ever seen in my life. Dude, it's so Seriously, good. hands so good. down. Excellent. Hands down, I love that movie so much. Robin, yes, Darcy the male girl is in this. I'll point her out when she when she. Oh, is she? Have we not done Sinister? Chris wants to know if we did Sinister. We've never uh, done. No, Sinister. we haven't. We haven't. Chris We're just I, we, into, we all love Sinister. We're just yeah. getting into some of these like newer ones. Yeah, yeah. we we mainly yeah. do like older older horror, and uh, we've done some new stuff too. But uh, we need to get into some like uh, late two thousand late two thousands early two thousands that just came out. Yeah, we're coming around to those. Yeah, Sinister's great, man. I agree so, that Giordano's and Gino's East are both great representations. And even though Giordano's is kind of a chain of pizzas, it's still a great Chicago pizza. Yeah. yeah Here we really are good. with the dead homeless man. Who is that? Cops oh, this down. part sucks, balls. This is <laughs> like, show me how to kill him. Uh, you already killed somebody, man. You don't need any pointers. That's true. He killed the homeless man. Yeah. You've killed two people. You've killed more people than Michael. Here comes yeah i know michael hasn't killed anyone yet she has a tomb of skeletons down there rob's on fucking youtube commenting rob get back on here oh hold on i gotta let him in <laughs> rob what happened we were just talking about sinister i don't know it was all those it was all that all the comments about the insurrection <laughs> yeah i think they is broken neck book I'm mm -hmm. telling you, it's Daniel Harris's fans. They're after you. Oh, yeah. fuck that bitch. She has a lot care. of smart hacker fans. We like yeah. her. She's 13 year olds that think they're hackers. I'll tell you that for sure. Why are you why do you think that 13 year olds are following her? Oh, because I mean she probably has an OnlyFans. It's only three ninety nine oh, a month. Man. And a 13 year old can easily it's afford like, that. It's all like guys in their in their forties who live in their mom's basement. Okay. How do I get back into? It's because of this teleparty app you sent me. Oh, you put a virus is. on my oh. computer. Fucking it's a. working for me just fine. What do I do? Does it just? Uh, well, I assume up? if you just click the link, you'll join us again. Are they holding oh, hands? Here comes Michael. Fries? No, you just joined. You just Finally. Joined. You seeing what I'm seeing? You seeing the fight here, Rob? No. Instead, you joined. They're holding hands, eating French fries. What? Oh, never mind. No. Maybe there's a fight. Oh, like Michael, like Michael couldn't take him. What a bunch of shit. Get oh, up! God. He's been really hurt. We're at like 56 up. is 10 now. 11, this 12. Of... I'm there. Like oh, okay, Michael you're wouldn't just shy away. Maybe he's just really hurt. He just wouldn't shy away. Oh, here like comes that. the music. Oh, shit. And he has the, the classic kitchen knife stuck into a rock. Here, Michael, get him for me. Oh, whoops! Man, messing with my light here. Michael does not look good in this. He, I mean, he looks good, but he looks like he's not—he's uh, not well. He 
he's Chris. Yes, Michael's not supernatural in this one, which I think is why what they meant to show here is that he's like really beat up after the end of the. But he's the supernatural because he passed the end of, his after strength the end of and Bills. power. It does look like he gets more powerful the more people he kills. But he I like I think he passes his strength to Corey, and as Corey kills more and becomes even more incelish, his power grows, and then he takes his power back from Corey. Actually, yeah, I think that's exactly what happens. That yeah, is see, that, that makes watch sense. Shit. I know what's going on. David Gordon, that fucking guys. See, so maybe he just got more powerful right after that kill. It's, it's, it's taking effect right now. It was fucking. He did not look good before that, though. He was having a a diarrhea spell well why would she know what's happening to you she just 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 brutally murdered her ex-boyfriend yeah it really is she's probably like you smell like a homeless man yeah have you been docking in the sewers again (laughs) how'd you know about that (laughs) damn it what up what's up oh you're watching it live and doing it yeah yeah chris says they're intentionally Uh, making him look real old and tired of course yeah. yeah yeah for sure I'm okay. 78, Michael is like 23, right? Because he's eight years old when he kills his first sister. Then he's in, in uh, busy? 15 years in the asylum. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Man. That would put him at, what are we? 23? Oh, no. Now. What, what, oh, now. What would he be so then now? 40 years, 63. This movie's four oh. years later. So he's 67 years old at this point. Yeah. Okay. Really? Wow. And he, he received no treatment for his injuries at the hands of that mob in the last one. So that's I think true. that's why he's all fucked up. So that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. He's supernatural. That's what we thought. Apparently not. I think I think he is because he's 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 teleporting his powers through doc through penile docking, ah. and then he survived a burning house and yeah. all the others. I mean, how does he keep? How does he survive? He is supernatural. It's just the evil. The evil within. Now he has Corey. I'm. I'm pretty sure, like, forget girlfriend. I think if I said to my wife, I just walked in bloody and beaten one night and was like, what's happening to me? I'm pretty sure we'd have a much longer conversation than what yeah. happened with these two. Yeah. Carmelo, have you been in the sewers again? <laughs> Carmelo, did you get beat up by those band kids down the street? Again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah fucking dicks. They do their drumsticks and... And they, they knocked the pocket knife that my gra- that that this old lady at the convenience store gave to me. They were so mean to me. <laughs> and they were the the high school band kids that beat up a thirty five year old man. <laughs> yeah, one of them was gender fluid and had a mullet, and it was scary. <laughs> and you see him drinking in this, so you know he's over twenty one. So he's at least like five six years older than these kids. Oh, easily. Yeah. Oh, he's older. Corey's and older. He's also kind of a bigger, stout guy. He outweighs all of them at least oh, yeah. by thirty pounds. There's the uh, housewives lady, Kyle Richards. Oh, this is wonderful to be t- telling the random bartender. I've seen Michael's eyes she, and Corey. She was okay. in the original one. Kyle Richards yeah. was too. That's right. It's not the same actress, though, right? Yeah, it is. Really? Yeah. Oh man, uh, they brought her back in, and not she, Danielle Harris. She was in 1978. Um, mm-hmm. She was in 78 and Halloween Kills. Let's see, who's this guy? I'm not Jack sure. William Marshall? Not sure who she played in 78. Oh. What's he ranting about? Uh, something about Corey being a cuck. I'm not sure. I wasn't paying attention. She played Lindsay in the 78 version. Is that the babysitter? Oh, no. That was the, that was the girl, wasn't it? Wasn't Lindsay the, the Oh, girl the, the girl that was... Yeah, that was being babysat. Sat. Okay. The young girl, I'm pretty sure. Yes. What the fuck? Yeah, Chris has an answer for you there. She was... Little girl Lori was babysitting for. Oh, nice. Okay, that's what I just said. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying he said it at the same time. Thanks, Chris. Oh, maybe maybe Chris should host the fucking show then. I'll just <laughs> I I got like five more Word seasons of royal egg. royal pains to watch. Yeah. So Charles to Copley look like basically. Copley look like basically saying he feels the evil in his eyes, just like 
you know, Lori does in Michael Myers' eyes. Mm-hmm. He's got the blackest eyes, the doll's eyes. Lori's been very worried throughout this whole movie. She's just very yeah, just like not worried enough to be worried. prepared. That's the that's the. Well, she's she worried because she showed up at her nightly dive bar and hasn't picked up a haggard biker yet. I mean, yeah, exactly. She hasn't. See, she she needs hasn't that haggard biker. She hasn't blown one trucker since yeah. 1989. It's really pissing her off. Yeah, I mean, in in 2018 and kills, she was like this badass. Still, now she's like. She's kind of shying up on us. On she this used to one. be a ha- she used to be a happening lot lizard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just gonna go down to the. She's like, what's that? So this is just the nurse is. girl now, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That works with. This is this a doctor? Is this the doc? A doctor? Yeah, it's a doctor and the better looking nurse. Okay. Okay. Nurse Deb. Works with Ellison. You just leave the party, Rob? What happened? I'm right here. Okay. But for some reason in the chat, the last thing says join the party, then left. I didn't leave the party. All right. You better not leave the party. I invited you. No, I'm, I'm I'm watching this nurse get her promotion. All right. Yeah, now she's about to work for it. Giggity. Matthew Tuttle said Jacob's Ladder. Is, is he wondering if we covered that? I don't oh know if we my have. God, he got me a kimono from AliExpress. Oh, yeah, be good. That would be. Tim Robbins. It's the weirdest thing in this hick town in the middle of nowhere. There's just these McMansions all over the place. Right. That's cool. Cool shower. Got the old outdoor faucets. Yeah, but I say it's got faucet the old things. sprinkler faucets on it. <clears throat> I like that. Doctor Mathis, what a shyster! He makes her call her, makes her call him doctor. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> you gotta call me doctor, baby. That's how I. That's what I like. It gets me horny. He looks like the kind of guy that would insist on that. Oh, yeah. for sure. <laughs> call me doctor. You will not call me David. Call me doctor. His name is David. Where did Indy go? <laughs> Oh, oh! He's wearing a clown mask. That's kind of nice, like Junior Michael Myers. You know? <clears throat> oh, is it a scarecrow? I think it's a scarecrow. Yeah, Michael, yeah. yeah. So, Ju- Junior Michael Myers. I like that. Now, I'm trying to remember back to when I watched this. Is there a reason he chose her and this house and that guy? Uh-huh. I don't, I, well, don't, I don't even know how he would know that they would be at the house. I think it yeah. has something to do with her getting promoted over Allison and her Allison uh, was bitching about it. I yeah, think. or Allison yeah. should have put out. Well, and, and the doctor didn't really oh, treat well, Allison. Tag team. Good. Tag team. <clears throat> Is this finally the first kill that happens with Myers? No, he killed the guy in the sewer. For oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. While yeah, Corey yeah. held him. Yeah. This is his first solo kill. Well, it's a good idea, kid. Leave your blood at the scene, fucking idiot. Oh, these cops don't have DNA. Not in 2023. Everything in this town is Michael Myers. Every oh, car accident, there it goes. every murder. Is this going to be an homage to the closet hang? Yeah, and everyone, that. he's going to tilt his head and say, huh. Yeah. Every, every Halloween movie since. Or the uh, pantry, whatever. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's such a good moment, but like, I it's think they missed done. the point. Like, you didn't have to do the exact goddamn thing. Yeah, with the head oh, turn and everything. Yeah. Is. Like, he, he could be curious about anybody he kills, you know? Like, he should be doing that, like, you know? Yeah. That's like, he's he's got, his, got his hand up against the glass, like Jim Carrey and Cable Guy. Just touch yeah. the glass, yeah. Bobby. Yeah. See, you what? Need, you, you need human contact. See, he. He should have switched up the kill. What really would have been cool if he would have just taken the knife and split it up through her head and sliced her top of her body in half. I guess be, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think it only it only really works the first time because he's so evil. He's just like, hmm. But when you do it every single time. Yeah, Robin said so he left a handprint on the glass. 
Yeah, oh, he he, exactly. His hand print, print his blood, and I guarantee semen. At the it's scene. ridiculous. He yeah. takes advantage <laughs> of it and leaves a handprint, knowing that he was there. Eh, it looks like the looks like looks like another like another one jerked themselves off. Straight <laughs> off. You know how these serial killers are getting off. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Open and shut case. She's Let like me live my own life. Psycho. I feel the same thing as you, Corey. Should we, uh, should we bag the evidence? Nah. It's obvious the doctor jerked himself off before putting a plastic bag over his head and stabbing himself <laughs> multiple <laughs> times in the throat. Clearly did this. Yes. It's a clear, clear, clear murder suicide. Is that cut on his hand still from the Yoohoo chocolate? Yeah, milk? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn, I really been a couple. Of been a few. They've only known each other for like a week, right? I kind of want a Yoohoo. Yeah, they or have. Or less. Well, this is typical small town right here. Known each other for a couple of days and dreaming about running away. Walk off of a radio station, I think. Her parents, yeah. Oh, it is. Station. Like Haddonfield has a radio station. Her parents are dead. His, well, his mom might as well be dead. Rob, you're back in time for Darcy the Mail Girl. I think she's in this one. Yeah. Okay, I do remember her being in this now. Yeah, I do like Darcy the Mail Girl. Everybody likes Darcy the Mail Girl. And this guy came right out of 1978. <laughs> yeah, he's got the fro, got the gold chain. You're that creepy woman's granddaughter. Is that what they think happened? They think Lori Strode antagonized a brain damaged, like mental patient, and then he started killing people. That would be so. a way more interesting Halloween <laughs> trilogy if Michael was on Petrum and Lori teased him to death, teased him to <laughs> insanity. <laughs> Well, fuck y'all up. I mean, I kind of Believe side the with the radio DJ, right? They're I'm not really sure what the problem with them is. They're just like there. Well, they're cli- oh well, come on. If they get if they get injured on his property, he could get sued. They're just yeah, they climbing all roof. over his radio station. Oh, is that why he pissed? Because they were on his roof. Yeah. She's like, why did you jump jump off the roof? We could have just stayed up there and made out. God. Good job, Lori. Just watching all of this bad shit. So she follows him here with the girl, but let's. Oh, do you think Laurie's the ultimate cuck? She wants to watch her granddaughter get it on with this guy. Oh God, no, it's not what I was. Oh, I never mind. Sorry, (laughs) me and Carmelo Carmelo have been on the same page for so long. I thought, thought we. I thought, yeah, I thought maybe, yeah. It's my bad. (laughs) You were right that time. That was me. I was off. (laughs) Just her hammering away at that leathery pastrami. Just yeah. Oh, this, this guy's the one hammered away. Delicious. Dry. It's just it's just flaking off. There it Ooh, is. There it, there is, it is. Oh, there, there it is. is. You called it, Carmelo. Uh, you knew it was coming. Oh, some great at predicting movies, you know. October 31st, baby. I so this is the house. Occur in this movie. He lays on the blood splurge, the blood stain. Oh, God. This guy is just the worst. So he just like woke up there. Okay. This is fucked up. I don't know what the fuck's going on now. She's like figured out he's a serial killer and see this movie is just about him. It's not even about Michael Myers. It's just yeah, about she's Corey. Like airplane. Being all like badass and everything actually serves no purpose. She didn't serve any purpose in the second movie. She just sat in the hospital the whole time. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, she was in the locked, locked up in the hospital the whole time. Let me give you a big wake up call, wake up call here, Corey. You don't know fear. God. I was on the USS Indianapolis, Corey. We were bringing the bomb. Right now he's a Hiroshima like, bomb. <laughs> <laughs> this kid doesn't need a, spe- a speech. This kid needs her to walk in there while he's sleeping and her just beat the shit out of him. He said, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Is she coming on to him a little bit? I think a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can you blame her? I mean, he gets beat up by band kids. He's got a cut on his hand. This is the sexiest motherfucker in Anfield. Yeah. I think he'd be into it because it, it's basically like docking because it's just going to be a loose flap of dry skin that he can pull over the tip of his penis. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> This movie, this movie is like a sitcom backdoor pilot where we focus on different characters the whole show and the main cast makes uh make cameos yeah. that's pretty much it robin exactly yeah, robin it up. that's it in a nutshell saved oh. by the bell the new class yes I exactly no one will. <clears throat> it's now just turned into like the hellraiser movies like this plot really should have nothing to do with Michael Myers, but they're yeah, like, let's just yeah. put him in it. Yeah, let's think, just make this a Hellraiser. I think that's what disappoints me about this. Like, genuinely disappoints me is I, I don't mind this kid's storyline. I thought that was all very interesting, but it's a Halloween movie with almost no Michael. Exactly. And and this is the worst part. At the end, they just get this kid and his whole storyline out of the way. It doesn't matter at all. Just yeah, I I don't even understand why. It, they even made it then. I'm like, it doesn't matter, right? Fuck. Because the end of this yeah. movie is the end we all want to see, which is the final battle of you know Michael and Lori, the thing they that's on the fucking poster of the movie, right? Yeah. So they, they're just like, well, we, we'll give you that, but literally nothing else before it, and we're going to tell you another movie instead, and then we're going to skip the ending of that movie. Oh, exactly. I, just, I don't, I don't get, Yeah, they, they like shuffle his his story aside and then cut right to Michael like, and Lori. Like, what the fuck? They just yeah. silly take the teeth out of the movie and Lori, like. See, if I can't have her, nobody have her, can have her. Just have Lori be like, oh, I would, I thought that's what you'd say. And just have her just shoot him and kill him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Pop. And then she's, she it. buries the body. The evil, yeah. you know, everybody can be evil. And then she still has the showdown with Michael. Corey's better. Better. <laughs> She's like, get out of my story. Yeah. Not killing you. Michael, they picked on me. Michael, he's right. Yeah. Oh my god, he's riding that motorcycle. It reminds me of Friday the 13th, part five. <laughs> mama, mama, they hurt me, mama. <laughs> well, if that's the way you feel about it, just forget it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm making your lunch, Junior. I, I will say his layer gets kind of nicer and nicer as the movie goes on. Well, he's cleaning up for the kid. He's got a new docking partner. He wants to impress him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh. You can't just go in there and shove Michael around, buddy. I mean, like, Michael just lifted a woman up off the ground and got his One superhuman hand. stab power yeah. on, and he's struggling with this kid who got his ass kicked by band kids. Do you what know is he who trying he to is? do? He's trying to dock him. Forcefully. <laughs> yeah. Took the mask. Uh oh. Is that what he took? Yeah. Was the mask? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, Saved by the bell, the new class. He's, he's exactly. mad at Michael for turning him into a killer and he's going to just keep killing. Oh, oh shit. That so was bad. all right. That was cool. That was cool. Yeah. Best sit up ever. Evil Dead. Scotty. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's great. Great setup. Michael second. <gasps> Somebody got <laughs> He's like, yeah. Come get me, see? Yeah, yeah. yeah see? Get that Chrysler. Come get me. Yeah. Get my mask on. Uh, Robin Parks has you're the like Undertaker, my... Undertaker sit up. I'd never watch much wrestling. No wrestling. I'm running away, Grandma. Chris says he likes how they make him old and real in this movie, but literally a year ago, he took on a whole mob by himself. Yeah. yeah. He's, still he, again, feeling, he, he's still feeling the aftermath. Yeah. And she's, yeah so I mean, quick, it, and she's so quick to run away with him, and she's not even, like, tried the goods. Like, yeah. I think she's going to be real well, they, disappointed that first night at the, the Motel night 6. Yeah, they did it. They did it. He, when did he they really? irresistibly barged into her house and said, what's happening to me? She was like, take me. Yeah. Oh, that's exactly. She likes the bad boys. Sorry. Yeah. Wow. How did do did, did none of these people live through the other two movies? Like, <laughs> like I don't. Yeah, it's it. like they just I just showed I up. I don't understand it. Like, obviously Michael Myers isn't who Laurie is. Like, how is? That? 
oh my god, it's so frustrating. Michael Myers, Myers, you're going to be real cool with Corey. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work for you. Yeah. What does she see in Corey? The hysteria that she caused? What the fuck is this? I'm pretty Man. sure the I'm pretty sure the maniac killer caused the hysteria. Yeah. <laughs> Our target! Our target! Our target! It's the best John Claude Van Damme movie. So good. I don't know if it's the best, Rob, but it's, it's the good. best. You know it's the best. Uh, so oh I god, I need to watch Hard Target again. No, I gotta watch Hell first. I'm not yeah, allowed to watch hell. any more. Oh, in, in, in hell. hell. Okay, you I'm not allowed to watch. I, I I forgot. I'm not allowed hell. to watch any more Van Damme movies. In hell. For sure. In hell. In hell. I have it on DVD, digital video. That's disc. one of my favorite ones. I don't even have a digital video disc player. Uh, we can come Ooh, over. Ooh, the gate is closed. It. The gate. I'm gonna pull up, pull up, a William Freakin. The gate is closed. The kids got out of the car. He's swinging his stick around, his drumstick. Oh, Time Cop's really good. It's just Robin bigger. Party. I I love Time Cop. Yeah, Bloodsport. Oh, Chris Double Impact. The one with Dennis Rod. Oh, Blood sports Blood better. Impact, Cyborg. I don't, I don't like old Van Dam. I like '90s Van Dam. Cyborg. Uh, Cyborg. Yeah. Cyborg was good. I think his first one. Cyborg. Oh, I own all of them on DVD. You, know, you gotta get them on right? DVD's outdated now. I know. I, so, so when I started buying them, all the Van Dam movies. Robin <laughs> Party. One with Dennis Rodman. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I missed. Oh, yeah. Oh, Billy's he's dead. Yep, that drumstick. Bleached eyebrows is dead. I love how they're all he's surprised, blind. too. Like, why would he even do that? Yeah. Why would he even try to kill us? What do you mean he's dead? Get him. Get him. Yeah, I mean, why, is this girl, one. why are these girls a part of this? This. This yeah. gang. I don't even think they're in band. Like, like, why why they get dragged into this? Well, the one girl got away. Good. I do like this part. I remember this. Yeah, part. this part's cool. Yeah. And... Oh, oh yeah. Yes. so sweet. Like, even when they threw him off the bridge, they were like, "Stop, stop!" Like, what? Like, why are they still with? Yeah. The asshole. If I, if I owned a junkyard, I would watch Van Damme movies all night long. Oh yeah, yeah. naked. Well, of course, maybe not that. <laughs> How does it feel to be hunted? Why didn't she go back, man? She was free. Who can help? Oh, she, she wanted to help her friend that just got smashed by the fucking fence. <laughs> There's no way she's alive. Where is her friend? Oh yeah, she's still. Yes, she is. Friends. You're gonna be clock. Oh, I wanted to see the wrench. Take this across her face. It's a good thing that all of them are armed with like. Winchester rifles in this town. Yeah. Uh, damn kids. The one with Dennis Rodman, Robin Party said. Yeah, I said that already. I think that's double. It's either. It you know, is double. Uh, double it's, impact. Uh, no, it's. Uh, so double impact game. was when they're twins. Double yeah, double impact when he's the twins. It's. Uh, I'll, I'll remember it. And that was sudden, cool. But why did she impact run was the his uh, hockey station? Yeah. Oh, oh what the oh, so weak How'd they that already kid... did that in the other movie that was a great shot but it was kid. a great shot that how, did... how the heck did he shoot him straight kid... in the head what kind of gun is that does it where's matt matt are you still watching you know your guns what is that oh, and it... can he shoot like that with that gun yeah how oh, i mean he has to be a pretty good marksman to shoot that way yeah it's a good boy a lot of gun training in band camp oh yeah Double Bloody, team, Bloody. Rob. Double team. Double team. Double That's team. It. Okay. Yeah, Robin. There's double impact, and then there's double team. Robin's the double team one. Sudden impact. Ooh. And sudden, and then there's sudden impact. That's, That's about, the hockey one. The hockey. That's one. the one about the hockey. The hockey. Oh, face crush. Oh God. Oh, that was, that was a car crush. That was pretty good. He got ran over, but 
smashed yeah, foot this to isn't the head a, and ran over. This isn't a bad Again. like storyline standalone movie, but right. to just be oh, mixing in. I think Lori's the storyline story. is the problem with the movie. Yeah. I think it's a good Halloween movie if we delete everything about Corey, everything about Laurie's granddaughter. Well, I was and sort of need, saying the opposite. Like it, it doesn't need to be a Halloween movie if it was just this random movie about like this court about the psycho kid. Yeah. And you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, we need more Will Patton. It doesn't need to be. Yeah. yeah. But if it was a Halloween movie, I agree with Rob. It should just be get the yeah. kid out of here, Lori, Will Patton. Like this movie would have been better no. if Michael wasn't in it at all. Because exactly. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. he's missing from the first, essentially missing for the first hour and 20 minutes. Corey gets the first hour of 20. Then they fuck Corey. We're done with him. Bring Michael in for the last 10 minutes. And then I they, agree with you. 100%. Be called like a 100%. Diary of a Teenage Cuck. Uh, yeah, there you are. Robin Party <laughs> says, does the mask get power then? Like, is that what, is that what this is supposed to be? No, it was the docking that gave them power. <laughs> I, thought we, I thought we'd been over this. I don't know. On, in all s- s- it seriousness. It is stupid, Chris. It is very I, I'm not sure. symbolically gives him power. It's this awesome. movie honestly is going to be one of my 13 reasons why. I'm just going to put it out there. <laughs> Exorcist Believer is one reasons one through 12 of my 13 reasons why. <laughs> yeah. Here's Darcy the male girl. Darcy. Yeah, she's great as a boy. There she is. I got I got an autographed picture of Darcy. Did you? Yeah. How? Yeah, Connor Connor got it for me so oh, nice. Connor or Darcy and Joe Bob. Isn't it just insane? How much shit no Bob knows? His name he is Diana him. Prince. Oh, his new season's out. I got to catch up. He's saying how much shit he in. knows off the top of his head about films. He's Fun fact, greatest. Diana Prince is the real name of the superhero Wonder Woman. Diana Prince is? Yeah, the human, the human name, I should say. Oh, oh look at that. that was great. Oh, oh, he, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. Good. oh that's, that's some good that shit. That was a good one. That was a good, yeah. that was a good kill. But it wouldn't kill you. No, the bashing his skull in, that what killed him. He just would have yeah. broke his jaw. That wouldn't have killed him. I'm gonna get him brain well, damage. One, one, Corey one, fell off trauma. of a 40 foot bridge and didn't even break a bone in this world. And he bumped this guy's head into a record player a couple of times. And that girl got run over by a truck and wasn't dead yet. Yeah. I see where you're coming from. Rob. There's something going on with the radio, and in this world in 2023, the radio still uses records. <laughs> it's retro. Everything's retro now. I, I, Everything in 2020. That's why all those band people are dressed like they're from the 70s. Every yeah, Halloween they were, they were has driving kind of a, a retro car. to it. I'm uh, sorry, Robin. There's a movie called Porn Shoot Massacre, and and we haven't covered it. <laughs> <laughs> with Diana Prince. There's a movie in it? called oh. Porn Shoot Massacre. I got to see that. Guys, we're sleeping. <laughs> we're sleeping. Yeah. I don't know. I tried to get Carmelo to watch. Poultry yeah, we watched Poultry Guys. We got to watch Porn Shoot Massacre now. That was so bad. Is it that bad? That was nice. I like that nod to the yeah the picture. Yeah. Again, yeah, the old, you just the keep old reminding me of movies I'd rather be watching. <laughs> so far, Hard Target thing, Porn Shoot Massacre, seventy eight, Porn Shoot Massacre. <laughs> oh, there's no bone. previous texts with him. How do you even like this kind yeah, of Android? Guy. And Android, that's disgusting. I know. Android's so gross. <laughs> it is. Rob and I, I are agreed. just totally vibing these days. I, I, I agree. agree, but I think uh, I, st- I think a majority of people still use Android. No, sir. And the, if majority, they are, think, the majority's wrong. Majority is is definitely iPhone. You think so? I don't I, Yeah. Maybe now. Maybe now. One of our loyal fans look this up for us, please. Let us know. I, I bet you it's it's like it's like 70-30 iPhone use versus Android. Or 6040. Hold on here. It used to be on Tubi. Porn shoot mask. Well, girls. it's hard because there's so many people that, you know, have track phones from Walmart that yeah, can't get an saying. iPhone. Yeah. So well, you... they could get one, but they've used track phones. Well, this, cool is glo- little... this, this is global. Yeah, global. that's what I'm saying. Global. No, we don't care about those third world countries at all with their androids. She does have a cool little writing nook here in her in her house. I feel got a pumpkin that's that's been there that will never rot. It's been there for years. Maybe yes. she just, well, she just carved them the other night. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, iPhones make up 61 percent of the U.S. market. Oh, I was right. Well, I said 
for the U.S. Yes. We don't care. About, we don't care about other countries. We're American. Oh, okay. Robin's in Canada though. I do like I, I do like Canada because I watch Letter Kenny. I think Letter mm. Kenny's great. That's the reason you like Canada. Yes. I guess Ontario. I'm not sure about the rest of Canada. Carmelo, you're muted. Because <laughs> I was using too much profanity. Uh, that's not was, it about, what, what was it about? Can it was about your your raging hate for Canadians? Yes, that's exactly <laughs> what on a roll. That's exactly what it was. How'd you know? Fucking Chris, maple syrup drinking. Chris said, "Lori looks like my aunt that's about to complain about the service at Cracker Barrel." <laughs> yeah, that's uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> we all have that aunt. Oh yeah. How the fuck does she know to get her gun out? Like she's got she's got Michael's tingling sense, like you said. And it's not I it's mean, like a little 38. I mean, this this uh, one was packing. Oh, oh, do it, Lori. Oh, so oh, she this, only oh, to, it's not only knowing to get the gun out, it's knowing to fake her own suicide. Oh uh, yeah. She does fake it, right? Yeah. I really is what happens now. She just keeps the pumpkins she knows inside the house. Watching. She knows someone's watching. Well, she just carved them a couple nights ago. You you put him outside. Oh, look at that. She shot the pumpkin. Yep. And whoever is behind the door thinks no. Ooh. <gasps> what? <laughs> oh, was that Corey? Yeah, she's like, he's dead. No, 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 no need to even look. <laughs> that, little thir- that little 38 wouldn't do much. But what, what, what effect would it have on an incel cock? Right, like probably quite a lot. You're quite right. A lot more, yeah. Do we need to dial a nurse? Do you want? I'll, I can get our medical correspondent on the phone if you want. Oh, she's gonna set him up. It only held four round. Well, no. Why she? Why she do that? Because <laughs> she's an idiot. Oh, they... Ooh. Oh, I'm telling you, she's coming on to him. I'll be right. Oh, Whoa. shit. Sorry. That was my fault. Oh, did you just pause it real quick? Oh, no, no, it's going up. It's, it's working now. We're good. I, I did like a one seconder. Yeah, it's okay. I was turning up the volume on my thing. And, and this whole other plot line is the stupidest thing here coming up. We're at 129, 26, 27. Huh? He's got oh my god yeah i don't get it if i can't have her no one can it's everyone else can <laughs> and, then he, and, then, and then he just sets it up like now everyone grandma, else can grandma everyone but you, you do and of course she do, walks grandma. in right as that happen yeah. Michael Myers has a better shot with her now than he does because Michael's still alive. Yes. <laughs> what did you do, Granny? It's just the stupidest plot lines. Yeah, this is... Now he's out of the picture. I don't think I would have ran over and pulled the knife out of his neck. He's obviously... I would have just been like, all right. <laughs> all right. You uh, went a little bit, little bit overboard there, buddy. Oh, <laughs> he, came, he came in and tried to kill me. <laughs> Chris and Robin are like, this guy's just suddenly dead now. <laughs> yep. Yeah. His, his his story's over. The fuck he said. <laughs> yep. Stupidest. Exactly what we said, it's Robin. Stupidest. Exactly what we said. And the fact that the whole town blames Laurie in this one for no reason, including her granddaughter, is just the stupidest thing. Yep, Chris. He, he's he gone. I agree, Robin. The fuck? The Carmelo's right even there. out of it. He's over the there. Right. He's over there texting. Well, I was trying to get Jason on, but uh, oh. <laughs> I think he's on baby duty, so. Oh, darn it. Oh, damn it. Our nurse call. Our, oh. our... Yeah. You need to dial the nurse. He's got to have some some information on the incels. Let me see what he's up to. Tell him, but first off, tell him that this is incel and cuck related. If he can't help us in those departments, then he's useless to us. I'll, I'll say that exactly. 
Just There's preface the, the text with, we have a question about gunshot wounds Ooh, that it pertain up. to cuck incels. Oh, he. There's no way he's alive. There's no still. way he's still alive. There's just no way. He just put a freaking twelve inch blade through in his, his neck. neck, the middle of his neck. Yeah, on the side. Yeah, of the how neck. is he? Yeah, no, he's super yeah. dead. Dock me one more time, Michael. I mean, oh. they just wanted Michael to be the one to kill him. Ooh, Some no epic right way. There. Yeah, no fucking way. Oh, just he, wouldn't happen. I don't think breaking the neck was necessary. He, he was pretty much dead. That's yeah. exactly what I'm talking about. The whole movie was about him. And then he's just like, get out of the way so I can have the end of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. And I then mean, nine-year-old Lori beat, left. Spoiler alert, 90-year-old Lori, like they they have hand-to-hand combat. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> what the fuck is this movie? Dude. I remember she did all that training in Halloween 2018. So she's with ready. Guns, and she was terrible with the guns as well. And this is the same thing. They're even they're making callbacks to movies in the original trilogy with the mom, I can't shoot him, and he pokes his head out and she shoots him. And in this one, Laurie fakes killing herself and he pokes his head out and she shoots him. It's mm-hmm. it's just it's just it's mind mind numbing. It is mind numbing. It's so bad. How much old man cum is on that mask? Oh from my that homeless God. guy. Can you imagine that's how it <laughs> her. from that homeless guy that got killed. I mean, didn't she lock him in? Why does she look scared now? I mean, like she was like, "Oh, I'm gonna fucking kill him." This yeah, Michael yeah, she, would. She, this she's this not, Michael she's Myers more scared. This one, she's not as like badass. This yeah. Michael Myers would definitely participate in homeless bukkake, uh-huh. without a doubt. You think it's popcorn? Some Ooh, popcorn does sound good. Mm. Is popcorn. somebody making popcorn? On a microwave or a microwave? Something in the microwave. In the something in the microwave. Huh? She distracted him with it, I think. When Corey was wearing the mask, it didn't seem like it was that like melted and uh, old man. I don't know. Um, it's supposed to be melted from the end of the Halloween. Chris movie. says, "Where's Will Patton?" I know. I know. Where is Will Patton? Exactly. Seriously, Chris. I know. He's only in like two scenes. To watch these two senior citizens beat each other up now. Yeah. Okay, she she just be dead now. Lori's what? <laughs> Lori's sixty seven. They're like the same age. Lori's sixty seven. Lori yeah, would be really younger than him. Lori oh, yeah. would have been like five right. or six yeah, years but, younger than him. No, so Lori's like younger. 60 and he's 67. Yeah. Lori's got a gut full of prebiotics and activia right now. So <laughs> yeah, she just shit her oh. pants already. Okay, so like I mean, she's dead at this yeah. point. Like her skull is crushed, ribs are broken. Just picture yeah. doing this to like your mom. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. And how and Garbage disposal. How how does there you she, go? There you how go. does she shove his hand down with one hand? <laughs> Chris says Will Patton's probably watching an old baseball game, having a couple PBRs. Yeah, sounds like exactly oh, what he's doing. That's exactly. Exactly. Oh, oh, Chris. The knitting needle, like the size <laughs> of a lawn dart. Yeah. Oh, he's like, not this time, bitch. Get her. Oh, oh, in the ear. Get her. I'm just rooting for. Come on, just just slap down. This movie will be over. I sort of like that she goes for the mask. Oh, kind of on the hand, his melted hand. She oh. did, she's not strong enough to stab that knife through like butcher block. I mean, the butcher block is designed to not be stabbed through. Yeah, did it? It went through some of it, right? Like all of it, he pinned him to the table. Okay, damn, she really overpowered him. Oh my goodness! Oh, another hand down. Oh, that went the butcher block too, Rob. Oh, okay, that makes more sense there. Yeah, yeah. Except the knife would have broken. Yeah, um, and I don't. Uh, yeah, it would be tough to hit a knife with a pan like a nail and have it go right in. She freaking took that fridge. Like yeah, it was yeah. like a foam She's not strong piece. Enough to do that. Yeah. Like a foam fridge. Now she's like, what that dick do? I'm gonna I'm gonna cut that. <laughs> I'm gonna cut what that dick do. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that off. <laughs> it's like you cut that guy's tongue off. <laughs> I bet they had to CGI his reflection with that fucking knife. Oh, oh yeah. for sure. Oh definitely. 
Is that under the armpit? Fuck. Oh, under the armpit. Is it? What? It's hard to tell. I yeah, I think so. The only thing that's missing is that he'd have a massive erection right now. Yeah. <laughs> the, just, the erection would lift the fridge up and give him yeah. his own, yeah. He'd just be spurting semen. Oh, he looks like the fly with that terrible beard. Uh, You've never really chased him, though. Hmm, didn't do that either. Hmm. Forgive you. And then she credits roll. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Got a strong grip for all his head uh -huh. being torn up. Yeah. Dude. Well, uh, previews of movies I'd rather be watching. Now, I'm sure when yeah. they wrote, I'm sure when they wrote this speech, they were like, "Oh, it's gonna be so good." Now he's just a man. He stops breathing. Oh. oh. She's getting in on it. Ow. He just has old man at the YMCA strength. Yeah, yeah he does. Yeah. There is a 70-year-old man who works out at my gym who does not have an ounce of body fat on him and... If he ran around in a Michael Myers mask, he would fucking kill all of us. Yeah. In jujitsu, there's a lot of old man strength for sure. Yeah. <laughs> old man at YMCA strength. So that must mean he just has a bush down there. That's it. Just a little pebble. Yeah. So, so he walks around in the locker room with no naked and and all you see is just a bush with like a tiny <laughs> little piece of skin sticking out of it. <laughs> oh, you know Michael has interest. That's it. Oh, she's He's holding talked. his hand. Oh. So these people there's watch Patton. So There's these people Patton. much of must have watched Heat, which is a much better movie than this. Oh well, of I course. Need to rewatch Heat. Heat's man. amazing. Heat's so good. It's love Heat. Oh, My God, cousin so said good. the book and Heat Two, the book, are amazing. Never. Oh, well, I yeah. can't. Read, so. And that Heat Two will be coming is has plans to be made and released. Wow. Well, no, because Val Kilmer's not going to be in it. And I don't want to watch it. He could be in it. He's he still died alive. in the first one. Oh, no, he yeah. didn't. Yeah, I, I thought he did. No, Chris lived. I thought he okay. No, he ran he's away. His, his wife told him to run and he ran off. Uh, Tom Sizemore died. It's done. It's done, Frank. Where okay. the fuck were oh, you? I was close. The yeah. Fucking sh sh sheriff dipshit. He's like, I was they had the replay of the 89. Uh, now they're gonna they're gonna tie him Trump's to the winning the World Series. <laughs> they're gonna tie him like Parade national him lampoons. Down. Parade him around town, let people just throw eggs at him. And well, oh, that's the know. sheriff. We're gonna throw this motherfucker in Did the woods. Someone chipper. chop his head off yet? Because that's what needs to happen. <laughs> no, yeah, what the fuck? You're I do love how, how definitively they kill him here, though. Like, this is this is yeah. it. They put him in that grinder thing, right? So yeah. and they put him in a wood chipper parade through him. town. That's right. Everybody's like, come on, out. Houses, come, on, come on out, kids. Look at the dead body on the roof. Come on out. What a great fucking, like the whole fucking town is lined up. Oh, God. I would just love it when I got to the wood chipper and, and they go to get him. Like, oh, he's gone. Somebody, somebody it, that should, that's what it should be. It should have been Corey's yeah. body. The shit yeah. is, it's, it's, it's Corey. It's, he, it's just wakes him. Up. he just yeah, wakes up and up. kills every everybody in the town. Somebody made a post on next door. That's how everybody knew. That's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> on, exactly. on ring. On the ring yeah. cam. Yeah, Robin said well, no one cares kid. about the dead kid. And yeah. no one's apologizing to Lori. Like, sorry, we said you were responsible for Lori's this murder. Lori's still laying on the like, ground, just on the wood floor. No every, every, everything about these movies kind of revolves around these homo shots of the town, how Michael affected the town and the community, but the community fucking sucks. This, that These was the whole the point of Halloween people. Kills. Is he like looks at the town and hates it and decides he wants to kill everybody in it. Yeah. yeah. 
So it's like I they but they're like they're leaning on it like we're supposed to like these people or these people crowd surf, would suck crowd surf. movies. Every person in this town deserves to die. Agreed. Every one of them. A, a thousand percent. And if I lived in southern Illinois, I'd want to kill everyone in that town too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hey, Laurie, sorry, sorry about calling you a cunt in the IGA produce department. You did good tonight. Right, yeah, I'm sorry <laughs> about that. Thanks for killing him. Will Patton's like, ooh, I'm going to get a piece of that pastrami sandwich later. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's like, like, yeah. He's I like, love how Michael's this whole dead. town knew, like, Finally. what do we do with his body? Like, no, we want... I think, Rob, it's more like elk jerky. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. <laughs> elk jerky with some psoriasis. Mixed yeah. in there, <laughs> capped elk jerky. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, oh that's great. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. That was badass. Yeah, yeah but he's gonna. But he's gonna come popcorn. back. We're gonna get another. They've already announced. Are we? Yeah. Because yeah, because Rob Zombie's doing it, right? <laughs> oh God, I want to be a different storyline or just inspired or something. This has got to be the shittiest book ever written as well. Just her and her monologues are terrible. <laughs> oh, yeah. These, these, this now is another classic right, David Corey. Gordon Green horror speech, which we know how good those were in Exorcist Believer. Oh, my God. This is the worst speech I've ever heard in my life in Exorcist Believer. God, I was half asleep. Gibberish I... fucking bullshit. I actually speech. want to rewatch this Believer because I fell that, asleep. The, the lady that talks. Oh, my God. I feel like Michael Myers looking at this movie like. <laughs> <laughs> and now the town can finally get back together to being a bunch of assholes they've always been. <laughs> My grandma's a hero now. Now they're leaving town. I would have been so far out of this oh, fucking town. Yeah. This movie makes me want to move out of Illinois. Dude, like <laughs> it's God. not giving y'all a good look. Exactly. This whole trilogy really not is not look. giving Illinois a good look. No. First, you know, you got the issues with your pizza, and you got the shape of these backwoods rednecks. <laughs> we have we have a fair bit of those. I don't believe it. Illinois is supposed to be it's the land of Lincoln. It's you're it's, thinking of Chicago. Yeah, you, there's plenty of country. But in Chicago's uh, but Chicago's Illinois. I've driven through parts of Illinois that look like parts of Oklahoma. No one nothing's there. <laughs> yeah. He, here there's like a real like Chicago versus the rest of the state mentality. <laughs> We've been to Cave Rock, Illinois. Cave in rock is what they, we play. They actually hate there. Chicago everywhere else because Chicago's the only like blue part of the state and everything else is as red as anywhere in the Midwest. And yet Chicago has enough population to like outvote the rest of the state combined. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like whatever Chicago wants happens in Illinois, but if not for Chicago, this would be a Republican state for sure. Is her yeah. neck thing just from getting choked? Is that when he, he was like, yeah, it's like a out? line. There's like not fingerprints on it. It looks like burned. it looks like her throat's burned, bruised or burned. You know bruised. what it is? It's, it's from, it's from erotic asphyxiation. She just, yeah. Kind of hangs herself from the closet and you know, yeah, diddles, diddles, yeah, yeah. So they're, finally gonna, they're finally gonna DJ go. Diddles. The diddles. They oh, the fridge, the, the fridge block. looks great in the butcher block, too. There's no cuts in it. Oh, no, oh, there's, there's the mask. Oh, oh, mask oh, oh, there. oh, mine says next Ricky up, Bobby's the crow. Talladega Nights. Yours says, uh, mine says, oh, next Talladega up, crow. Mine says, sneaker. Mine says, Marlo. I think Talladega Nights would be. I think the crows. I think the yeah, crows. Let's just move it right on into Talladega Nights. Well, I'd yeah. like to thank everyone who endured this with us. Um, on revisiting, I still like it better than Kills. There's we a, need to do Extra Believer. I bought it yeah. for twenty dollars. I, I have it. I will only do it. I will only watch the movie one more time in my life, and that's if we do a live commentary. We gotta I, do a live. I was commentary. just saying I need to watch it again because I fell asleep. So I, I, I feel like I need to just you know experience the. Yeah. The badness. Did, did you not finish Exorcist Believer? That's like why I, he doesn't get it, Rob. That's why he I doesn't get it. Oh, like I did, but I was half asleep. But then I was awake by the end, but I was half asleep for like the about 20 minutes in the middle. 
Oh, so it's sort of like you know, probably you know it's probably get, a really good twenty minutes. You know, when you're like half asleep throughout some of a movie, then you just sort of like lose a lot of it, and you're like, what's the fuck? Yeah, I don't know. I don't. That Anyways. movie, that movie brought me and Carmelo together. The it did for that movie. It healed a years a years long rift. <laughs> Yeah. Carmelo, I think I think probably while he was still in the theater texting me, this is the worst shit I've ever seen in my it's life. True. It's true. I just wanted to hold Rob's hand and be like, why did I why did I watch Exorcist Believer? Yeah, Rob and Party said literally everyone forgot about Corey. Yeah, that's it's exactly, exactly what it's talking about. Yeah, we had we, not us, not us though. We dealt There's with him for two fucking hours. No closure, no follow-up. We don't he's no. probably still sitting we dead in that house. Maybe where his body is. No, we don't even know what happened. It's sitting there. So so Rob, do you like do you like kills or ends better? Oh, uh, there's Chris a post credit says, scene. No, should I play this? No, thing? there's a post credit scene. Are you revealed Corey playing? was grinded up and that Michael is. Oh, why did we pause it? No, Michael's oh, still out there. I, said, out going. I never knew this. You just said out there. LOL. Uh, I'm fast forwarding. There's, and that's, oh, that's my no, whole no. there's no, nothing. Here. There's, have been Corey. Oh, no fuck here. you, Chris. Fuck Let's you. Oh, uh, Chris, Chris joked us out. That's so wait, wait, wait. You got us. So, Exorcist Believer next week. Yes, join us. Now. <laughs> you want to do another live one? We can do another live one. Again. No, we'll have. Actually, we are set up. Uh, Believer. We're going to be doing Night of the Creeps next. No, oh, nice! And, and where can our fans Believer. stream that? You know what? I haven't. Let's let's see. Let me just see if I can uh, see that real quick. I just want to do Exorcist Believer live, and I'm not even going to commentate. I just want to watch everybody's reaction. On the well, Zoom Night thing. of the Creeps. I don't know if it's free anywhere, but you can rent it on Prime or any other. On I don't know. I just spent four twenty nine on this movie. I spent twenty dollars on Exorcist Believer. Rob's good at finding shit on YouTube, so uh, I don't. Well, Night know. of the Creeps is kind of a big title. Night of the Creeps. When, when do you decide? Uh, looks like one? you can only rent it. All right. Well, we're yeah, doing that, Night of the Creeps the next. Classic. That'll be in a couple weeks. Uh, we're covering it. We're covering it. Back we're to not, our normal. We're not doing it live. No, no, we're covering it. So back to our normal format, normal time. Um, and yeah, but thank you guys for joining us. We like to do these every now and then just to have fun. And, yeah. uh, you know, we'll, we'll do another one soon enough. We'll do, we'll do something. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with doing the terrible movies or the bad yeah. movies. on. Yeah, I, I guess we just need to make it known that that's why we're doing them when we post about it. Because everyone is like, well, I'm not fucking watching that. It's like, well, we, we're not watching it either for that reason. We right. usually don't watch movies yeah, that we on. like or are, are yeah, because we'd just be watching the whole time and not talking. Yeah. The, yeah. the podcast episodes, though, have been more popular when we picked some of these nostalgic favorites like Event Horizon, like these actual, like, you yeah. know, classics that actually have a cult following. Turns yeah. out, yeah, they come out to watch these things. So, so yes, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll have to do some. But yeah, Night of the Creeps will be next. And then we'll, um, yeah, we'll see. I'd love to do on. Sinister after that. I don't know how far. Oh, we got to do Sinister. Yeah, I like Sinister. We can I mean, Sinister is one of those movies I still don't watch with the lights off. No, yeah, it's, it's sinister. I love it. Dude, I like freaking so love good. sinister. Yeah, we'll we get it going. All right, guys. Well, thanks for for joining us. We'll catch you next time. All right, guys. Later. Later. Later.